And we are live once again, and good evening, everybody. Christmas 2018. Welcome to each and every one of you. Hopefully, a lot of you were on the. I was proud to host Lori Green's uh, very nicely done um, boy movie, which premiered this evening. I have decided to leave that as a separate video just to keep that clean and very focused on what that is uh tonight so a lot of people have already watched that a lot of people are going to check that uh, video out if you haven't seen it i do have the link on uh the description box of that uh, video broadcast we are back mama three boys you should be up here with me hosting honey We'd be like the uh, we'd be like the Kardashian sisters, wouldn't we? <laughs> nice to see you back. We're serving catfish again. Thank you, Christy. Uh, Laurie did wonderful. I'm sure she'll be in uh, in a bit. I've dropped the links down there. But I thought the uh, since she was going to eat dinner, you'd shake it with me, huh? Shake it tonight on Christmas. Well, you know, since uh, she did all that work, I thought it would be perfect to keep that just very focused, and then it wouldn't be hours of Rosie's, you know, hijinks and nonsense uh, going forward on there uh, on there tonight. Good idea, I think so. I like to honor the work that she uh, she did. So, Christmas 2018. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about tonight. What a good Christmas. How does this? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, my, yeah, they just, I can't seem to get them to stop growing, huh? Jinxie! Yeah, we love high jinx. I popped it down there anytime you want to pop on later on. Uh, you know, kitten cat, I'm smelling a little fish in the air tonight, but I don't want to say anything because I don't know. Lars Hope has been a good friend of mine for, uh, for quite a while. I just think, um... I don't know, you know, I, uh, <laughs> I, have to, I just have to, I just would just have to wait and see what happens. I don't think for me, now I'm not a king, right? I'm not a king. I'm not royalty, but I am not one to put it in gear and drive 135 miles or something on the expectations of a, Let's just let's just meet uh, let's just meet halfway or something like that. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that she's okay. It's just I I mean I can't get a fix on people on on uh, YouTube. <laughs> Gonna meet a catfish. <laughs> hey Cindy, how you doing, sweetie? Merry Christmas to you. Uh, if he did meet up, um, but I don't, uh, you know, would you guys, it's one thing if a Rosie O'Kelly's on camera, would you guys want to be on camera? I mean, I don't care who it is. You know, hey, Lori, welcome back. Dinner was good. Good. My you know, husband decided, is such a good cook. I decided to keep your premiere as a, what would I say, an encapsulated event that doesn't get dragged on five hours with Rosie's nonsense. So we'll keep that very focused on the achievement that you did there. So, okay, that's all tagged and everything. And we can continue to put links to that uh, tonight through here. But that'll keep that something special that's not going on for hours about that. So a lot of people have watched that, huh? A lot of people. I have really good feedback. <laughs> they love it. Yeah, amazing. I so many nice people. Uh, comments on the video, comments in my DMs, my uh, text messages. Yeah, I don't think uh, many people have put in you know that level of work on that. You know, it was it was fun. It was a good learning experience. Yeah, Jinx is like I knew people would love it. <laughs> Jinx is my biggest, my biggest like pusher. She's a sweetheart. She, I love her. Love there's, her. There's sometimes you have to feel a little, 
you know, when things grind on in the middle and there's no end in sight and you're trying to chase down yep. people and, and all that, it can get... Yes, a- there was Jinx. <laughs> Making me feel good. <laughs> I don't know, Joe King. I don't. I don't even want to go there tonight. I uh, I smelled fish cooking tonight. That's all I'm going to say. Hmm? Hail to the king! Right. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you. Yeah, Joe King. I didn't really feel like the need anymore for uh, for doing wrenching. Reason being, I started with Greg, and it seemed to be a very, very simple process, and it didn't seem to be uh, didn't seem to be controversial at all. <clears throat> yeah, Joe King's like, I'm free, I'm free. Joe King charges by the hour. <laughs> so, what are some of your New Year's resolutions? Where Where is Rosie going from here? I don't, I want to travel. I want to really retire and travel next year, Lori. And I'm hoping this is going to be the year that that begins to happen. I'm, I'm targeting uh, March 31st is my finish date. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed and I really resolve to, I really like doing things on the road. So I want to uh, be visiting and going many more places around the country. And bringing those experiences on YouTube. How about you? Um, I have a wedding to plan. <laughs> I have, um, you know, hopefully keep on doing what I'm doing. I actually like the place that I am. And this year is the first time I really don't have resolutions. I'm happy. Like, I'm, I want to just keep on keeping on. I want to finish the work on my house. Yeah, you were you were doing work out back with uh, uh, what were you doing? Fencing or something? Oh, I was. I'm doing everything. Stonework. Like I have so much projects. Yeah, I was doing stonework in the backyard. Um, the the decking, painting the decking, going around the pool. Uh, you were doing a lot of. uh, Yeah, I got the landscaping that I'm doing this spring in the front of the house. Yeah, you were doing tile work, I remember, Lori. Yeah, we had uh, three bathrooms. We're still working on one. We finished one, and we're still in a quandary about some tile in the master bathroom. That's unfortunately, it was the bathroom was done before I moved in with um, Italian marble that you can't get any more of, and. So the bottom of the shower, we have to change out because the tile, there was a problem with the tile. So I have to actually go out and find, hi, Tara. Um, hi, Lori. <laughs> find something that uh, matches that to do the bottom. And then that bathroom is done. And then I have painting and some finishing touches. And then when it's all said and done, my dog is getting old. So we're kind of waiting for him to go because he sometimes has accidents in the house and we're going to re uh, do the floors all throughout the house. Hi, Brandy. Hi, Tara. Nice to see you. Looking good. Merry Christmas. You got- yeah, Merry Christmas. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, Merry Christmas, Lori and Rosie. And I, I, I like the video you made, Lori. Unbelievable. Thank you. Isn't it unbelievable that uh, that much time and effort and to have such a great uh, payoff on that? That's a priceless, that's like a memorial placard on the, the bottom of YouTube, like a, a mile marker along the way. That's pretty amazing. Missy Jen is here. She just took a shower. She's going to go to bed early tonight. We've had a very uh, busy Christmas season. We're going to be winding that down uh, and getting ready, getting her ready for her Surgery, she needs to have a lipoma removed from her side. So, um, yeah, Joe King. Yeah, did you see uh, Elvis going down the highway? This is the, the most exciting thing that ever happened to me. Let me tell you, Elvis, <laughs> I can imagine that's true. <laughs> uh, see, driving down the, uh, driving down the damn cops, driving down the shoulder of the road, of course. Let me tell you a little, a small story. 
One time in San Diego, this guy was in his little truck, and he got angry at the insurance company for his truck, the auto insurance. So he he took off on the cars. The cops were chasing him. I don't know why they were chasing him, but finally when he pulled over, this was all on TV, and he pulls over, he gets in the back of the truck, and he gets out a shotgun, and, they, and they're recording the whole thing on TV, and they show you the guy getting the shotgun and sticking it in his mouth and pulling the trigger. Oh, man. Wow. Wow. Yeah, Jerry's hashtag drama queen trucker. There should be a new uh, a new series on TV, huh? Driving 45 miles an hour and <laughs> down, the, down the highway. But I don't know, you know. Live and let live, right, Lori? It's Christmas. So. Yep. Live and let live. So. <laughs> um. Uh, it was Cali. Let me ask you a question. Any right-thinking person, are you going to put it in beer in gear for 150 miles to meet somebody if you're not ready? You know, if you're not even going to meet them on cam first, am I really going to roll down the road and meet you? I don't know. You know. Oh, Buddy Buffer had a won the battle with a pumpkin pie. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, figures the Brit doesn't like pumpkin pie. I don't think they have pumpkins over and uh, do too much with pumpkins in Britain. I like I like your or thanks for the Christmas card, uh, Rosie. It it looks like last year's though. Yeah, they're always going to look the same. Just the tree changes behind it. Our pose changes. Oh, they're supposed to be collector's editions for dartboard. You just insert this year's over top of last year, right on the bullseye on my head, and then you're good to go. Hey, Sambo, Merry Christmas to you. That's not a real fire. That's just a, uh, just a, a simulated fire over there. Uh, does it give off heat? Yeah, you can set it so that it does produce. It does have a blower, and it does have some uh, heating coils that do produce heat, and it will uh, definitely throw some heat out. Some nights I leave it on, and I'm like, oh, shit, how much did that cost? <laughs> All <laughs> night, you know, Laurie, I forgot to turn that damn thing off. <laughs> uh, I have a real one that I haven't turned on, I guess, years. I'm Now I'm afraid to turn it on. I have to get it cleaned before, you know, like the chimney cleaned before I even do it. I don't know. I just, it, it scared me. Like having it, like the gas igniting it always frightened me. I never had, like, I never lived in a house with a fireplace before. Yeah, you got to make sure they're clean for sure. Yeah, well, now at this point, I wouldn't, you know, with black widows living here and they, you know, one black widow spider building a nest, I don't know what it blocked off or, you know. Or even if there was, I don't usually have them in my house, but you never know. It's just a tiny spider. Yeah, you're in California now. You're not even allowed to put uh, wood fireplaces in new, at least in this county, you're not even allowed to put uh, wood fires places into house, new house construction anymore. Well, I don't, that kind of makes sense. You know, with spare the air and all the, all the fight against pollution, but shit, then you have, you know, two two cities burn up in two years, probably producing megatons, many more megatons of ash and crap going into the air from all the terrible fires that were out here. Who knows? But uh, yeah, I enjoy a fire. At least this gives the look of one, Laura. Even though you don't. I would to. love that. I would that. I love. I've always loved that feature in your home. Yes. And it looks so good with the Christmas tree. Yeah, it's, it's a nice look. I was very happy. Now, we have a little display on top of the Motorola there, a couple little uh, tchotchkes on top of that. Uh, my adopted daughter had a little too much to drink tonight, so I had to put her down in bed there over in the U.K. in Manchester. So <laughs> you'll probably pop on later after a couple hours or so. So, Tara, tell me about your, uh, your matzo ball Christmas. What's going on down there? Uh, matzo ball was a week ago. 
because I had a bad sinus infection. <clears throat> this last Sunday, she we exchanged gifts. She gave me three hundred dollars and some guy clothes, <laughs> and uh, I gave her a hundred and fifty dollar gift gift card. And uh, she cooked me a prime rib just like you had, uh, Rosie. Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, was it? In a, did she have a smoke? Yeah, she actually does. She smoked it. I couldn't even. I couldn't even believe it. Um, when Janet, the size of this, did you see the size of the smoker she had? It's like, like uh, three and a half feet tall, a big door in there. And wood yeah, and I saw it. Yeah, yeah, guy clothes. Can you believe it, Bonnie? It's like, uh, tear, like I hope there's a return slip on <laughs> Get a nice, get a nice mini, right? <laughs> I don't even know if my mom realizes I'm a crossdresser. She's never mentioned anything, but all of my Amazon packages goes to her house, and sometimes on the box it'll say uh, women's shoes or women's blouse. So I'm still not sure if she, if she knows or not. Well, she's probably operating under the don't ask, don't tell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Of <yeah. laughs> that, big. I agree. Big Lobster Frick, welcome to the uh, welcome to the chat. Welcome to the chat. Um, anybody else wants a link? Let me uh, let me know. It would get Terry. Terry reminds me who was that that was in um, You Got Mail? What's that blonde chick's actress's name? That uh, I don't want to say the annoying one that uh, uh, was in. Oh, with Tom. I can't, I can't remember her name. Uh, I don't know. She just is very nerve, she's cute, but nerve wracking. What was her name? She was in um, You've Got Mail with Tom Hanks or the Meg Ryan. Um, Meg Ryan. Yeah, Meg Ryan. That's it. Got that kind of. Thank you, Dorlin. Kind of got that Meg Ryan. Kind of got that Meg Ryan book working there. Who, me? Yeah. Oh, well, thanks. She, one of the. Best romantic movies, in my opinion, of all time is uh, When Harry Met Sally. What do you think, Lori and Rosie? Oh, I loved her in that. Yeah. Did you like the movie, Rosie? Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a good movie. I don't know if it's like the most romantic one that I saw, but I'm, I don't, I've never been a big Meg Ryan fan. She, you know, hey, Jordan. With the cops, she was driving drunk, and she, I think she got arrested for, like, giving them shit when they tried to ask her for her ID. Yeah, it's usually the um, stars that are, like, the supposedly the sweetest ones. Who's that other one that was played in Strictly Blonde? What was her name? She's supposed to be Reese Witherspoon. She's supposed to be a real hell on wheels when she's out in public, too. <clears throat> I think I think she's probably high maintenance. Everything's got to be perfect, or she's gonna get pissed. Yeah, well, hey, that ain't that ain't for me. That's for sure. Thank you, uh, Rosie, the window liquor. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I made a mistake. I was down in the little town of Petaluma, and everybody was inside the nice restaurant eating there. And I'm looking in through the glass window. It was like a it was like a scene out of Charles Dickens or something, right? The poor the poor girl looking on the outside and everybody's feasting and holding up their crystal champagne. And I said, uh, somebody give me five dollars and I'll lick the window <laughs> outside the restaurant. Well, yes. I was joking. CJ, yes. Well, my husband cooked Chinese food for us oh. tonight. Wow, he cooked Chinese. Yeah, he was like, "Did you eat your Chinese food?" We have a tradition that on Christmas we eat Chinese food. That's incredible. So he's been getting into cooking this year, really big. Like, I be Max. Lori, I'm surprised you didn't. I'm surprised you didn't run out Spring Mountain Road to the Chinatown there and just. Uh, well, we usually do, but my husband wanted to cook. Okay. So he's that's been his that's hobby this year. That's impressive. Yeah, he Pretty made shrimp and rice and. And vegetables, stir fry. It was good. Yeah. What we call the typical Jewish Christmas. Uh, yes, food. it's actually a real, real thing. I didn't, I didn't. I thought it was just like, 
like a joke, no, but it actually is a real thing. Because it was a combination of two things. Uh, a certain group of people that didn't generally uh, celebrate Christmas with a group yep. of people that never really closed on Christmas Day. So it worked at, yeah. it one of those, what we call a symbiotic relationship, right? Yeah. I've been doing it all my, I mean, literally all my life. Even when I was a kid, it was, and, and we'd go to movies too, but we didn't do that today because we had other things. Yeah, Beach Pub, yeah. Uh, Lori, to recap, for those of you who are coming on as we're uh, building the numbers here, Lori took over 500 hours to put a really fun movie. It's 15 minutes, 15 minutes long, a Boyd movie. With how many people were in that, Lori? 57. 57 people, 500 plus hours of editing, three quarters of a terabyte of storage space and putting together a Boyd movie. You'll see, Lori, please, you can post the link on the side as often as you want there for the uh, video. It's also, I did I did a hosting of a premiere for her earlier tonight, and she's probably got over 500 people and watch that thing uh, right now. So um, check it out, hit the link, or go uh, check the description box in my earlier hosting for her. Uh, did have a chance to meet up with uh, Lori and her wonderful husband and uh, have a couple hours down at the um, down at the uh, hamburger marriage. We all uh, enjoyed the show then. <laughs> the yeah, yeah I, I, if anybody watches Doctor Who, I think I would have done a better writing job than the writers this year. Yes, he's it'd be nice to see you, Big Mac. Seeds, yes, yeah, Seeds is, is re upping your contract for four more, uh, four more episodes for uh, <laughs> episode two, the shit box on wheels. <laughs> oh man, yeah, Lori needs a break from editing. I imagine that, I imagine that she does. Uh, it was crazy. I was doing this every day for nine months. And my videos for my channel. And people wondered why I was still awake at three in the morning. And okay. you have this, a wedding that you're planning too. Yeah, well, you don't realize that. Well, first of all, when I started this, I had never watched a single episode of Doctor Who. I had to watch the entire series to get a flavor for what I was doing on top of all of this. So, that I did all summer, is I watched the entire Doctor Who series, completely fell in love with it. Um, my daughter had never seen her baby pictures because it was old technology and it was run on this camera that was huge. And that technology doesn't even plug into my TV now. So my kids have never ever seen their baby, you know, anything of their baby videos. This is the first time ever that she's seen herself actually as a, you know, moving except for just pictures. So I had 91 uh, videos that I had to get transferred to today's technology. Um, well, you're, you have, you have so many talents, Lori, like I said, that. Uh, you know, I've, I've been doing the coloring for the better part of four, four months now, and I don't even, I wouldn't even show my stuff, but I'm just, <laughs> it's been so much fun. It's been so relaxing to do that and to get, get a little bit of skills with the uh, pencils. And um, if you're not familiar, Laura's going to post again on the side. She does have Color My World channel besides her uh, uh, Lori Green channel so you want to check that out if you're interested in seeing somebody's highly skilled and she'll continue to put that uh video link for the video that she did tonight on the um on the boy what i call the boy uh movie which which features just about everybody except for three people hey ted oh uh, thank you tanya thank you sweetie Merry Christmas to you. You're just having a laid back. A lot of people are doing a family thing tonight. Um, you know, yeah, this is the first time I've ever been on camera. Besides the one little clip with you. Yeah. Actually, I've never been on camera on my own channels. 
again, it's not because, let me just taste and say, it's not because you're not an attractive woman, which you are. It's just it's your choice. To no, make. I like my privacy. That's yeah. why. <laughs> I wonder why. We'd be following you down the highway, right? <laughs> <laughs> I always, like, you have a beautiful setup in your living room. I have, my, my setup for my camera and everything is in my personal space. If I was in my living room and my living room, I can keep neat. I mean, your living room always looks beautiful. It's always, it's never anything around that nobody could see or whatever. I don't want to have to like clean up my house. It's not me. It's like what's behind me. It makes sense <laughs> to me, you know. It's one reason terror doesn't take us on neighborhood tours and house tours and all that kind of stuff. It's like what you see is what you get, baby. Woo! Right, Tara? That's it. Woo! Yeah, you love yeah. the accent too. I like I always I miss the New York accent. I was I get my uh I get my fill of uh get my need to hear the New York accent filled here. Yeah, it's a huge endeavor. It really is what she what she accomplished on there. I just can't help it laugh. I can still got Elvis in my mind. Jesus, I hope the whole thing wasn't a catfishing. <laughs> Did he ever make it there? I I tuned out. You know, I didn't watch on the on the thing, but uh, I hope so because that's a lot of gasoline to burn to go down uh, someplace. So when Did you have he players, really say his driving was putting his life at a risk? Um, and for that, it's quality content. I don't know. I guess if you know, I'm not. I'm not going to say anything. But uh, Elvis, yeah, he gets excited when he sees, you know, flashing lights and cops roaring past and stuff. That's all I'll say. So, uh, oh, thank God, he's not a trucker. That's why oh. you have to be confident on the road. <laughs> Anyway, so, so they didn't meet tonight, uh, uh, Laura and uh, and uh, she Elvis? ran to the hospital. <laughs> I'm not sure, honey. I I mailed off. I had some other stuff I had to do uh, early this evening. So, did she get sick? Uh, there was a couple postings on the side that uh, he was getting progressively ill and sleepy as he got closer to uh, the location. <laughs> She started to, uh, to to feel ill, and then I think eventually had to be hospitalized. She had to go. Well, I'm sad that she was hospitalized. If that's real, but yeah, should I call and get an update? <laughs> uh, anyway, you know, it is what it is. It's Christmas. It's Christmas Day. Most people are most people are with families and doing things tonight. It's the time of year where, uh, yeah, update please. We'll see. We'll wait a couple of hours. He'll he'll probably come by and either berate me for being a being a B channel on <laughs> big quality entertainment. So so Ro Rosie, are you still gonna buy a a, a, a B class van? Yeah, I did want to buy a B class. I want to take this van and I want to trade it in on a uh, on a B class, but I want one that I can fix up again. I don't I don't have the money to pour into a new, uh, you know, a hundred hundred twenty thousand bucks for a uh, for a class B camper van, you know, a Sprinter van or something like that. I'd rather have something that I can just keep going and and get decent mileage. So we'll see. Missy Jen has zero interest in it, though. So that's the bottom line on that. What What's the plan for this for New Year's Eve? Are you going to have a hangout? I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing for. Uh, haven't even thought of that yet, uh, uh, Tara. How about you, Lori? Anything? I guess Lori's got family thing going on. No, my husband is going to be working, so I'll be here. I like to be. I like to be home. It's crazy here on uh, New Year's. Way too crazy for me and my taste to be out and about. Yeah, and I don't drink. So. 300K for a decent one. So, yeah, close to home. It's safe. A lot of stuff goes on in, 
in uh, Vegas, obviously. Every, yeah, it did. I like it that my kids don't go too far either. Being out on the roads in a town that is noted for its drinking is, I, I mean, I hate the fact my husband's going to be down by the strip. And, and I don't like him down there, but it is what it is. I mean, we have some strict drunk driving laws here, but it could be overloaded on New Year's. You can just basically assume everybody on the road is drunk. I just, I would, I would just be there and staying. If, if I'm down visiting Vegas, I don't want to be driving anywhere. I might Uber or something like that, or I might just choose to stay at the hotel. Pick, pick the right hotel that's having a nice event. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a nice, um, like uh, fireworks display um, at New Year. I, I can see it from my home. So. I mean, if I really wanted to, I just have to get in my car and just go to the end of my street, sit in there and, and uh, watch. You got, a beautiful, you got a beautiful view. Just get just get west of the get west of the strip a mile or two, and you got a beautiful view over top of the hotel. Don't they fire them off the yeah. top of the hotels? The oh, whole entire strip lights yeah. up. Yeah. So on the Fourth of July and on New Year's, I mean, everywhere. Yeah, it's amazing. It's, a, it's probably the biggest show besides New York City in the, uh, mm -hmm. in the nation. Um, yeah, that's what the rigs cost. Forty, like uh, we said, forty to you can get one hundred twenty for Sprinter vans for the Mercedes. Vans. It's just not worth it. I would never recover the. I would never recover the fun out of. Uh, I would never recover the fun out of RV. I'd be sitting there miserable counting how much my daily hourly depreciation is hitting in that, uh, in that ring. Uh, Sean says, please, Rosie, don't buy that uh, that box. Huh? <laughs> well, I don't know. He might be making his way out here. He knows. JK Nokel, happy holidays to you, my hey, friend. Hey, JK. And to your wonderful family. Make sure to check out Maury Green. Uh, yeah, he's in it. Yeah, you're in it. Laurie Green's movie premiere about an hour and a half ago. On here, she's gonna post the link. There it is. Check it out. You're in it. So. Very good. And what's gonna happen if, if Elvis shows up on the ranch or night? Sean B. Sean the Brit's gonna put it in here. <laughs> He's gonna. <laughs> He's going to head down. I'm going to have Whiskey OG heading down. <laughs> uh, you know, it's uh, it, epic stuff, right? <laughs> morning, my God help us, you know. Yeah, you like the face the terror makes. <laughs> yeah, are you doing anything for... Uh... No, I'm not. Uh, that's a Monday night. I'm not going to do anything unless you have a hangout, Rosie. Let's see. I'm, I'm working that day. Let's see. Rose said, Rosie likes to go down to the Tenderloin in San Francisco and kick homeless people on New Year's. That's not nice. <laughs> wow. Would I do that? Would I kick the party down? Wow. Yeah, it's Happy Meal says, Tara, I want to rescue like Kevin Costner in Waterworld. What a movie. No, Laura, uh, Tara has a cooling fan underneath of her computer. So once in a while, you hear that, uh, you hear that firing off. Water <laughs> World? Water oh, World. Water World, okay. Yeah, the movie that killed Kevin Costner's career. You know, I was thinking of Sea World. Have you ever been to Sea World, Rosie or Lori? Yes. <laughs> I've been to Sea World um, a couple of times in my life. It's not my favorite. I don't like to see the. Well, they don't have the orcas now anymore. The the shows have been canceled. But 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 Lori, you know, they don't have the killer whales anymore. And I've been to Sea World many many times. But Lori, where do we draw the line? Like uh, orcas are okay, but sea lions. I mean, orcas are no go. But dolphins are cool. You know. I mean, I don't know. Uh, it seems to me they're just going to keep moving the goalposts until they get all the animal stuff gone. People like Pete and all that stuff. Like I've changed my views on some of these animal places. 
um, throughout the years. Like, I only go to free-ranging zoos. I don't like seeing animals in cages. I, I'll, like, if I go to visit animals or whatever, they better have open space. Um, I've even gotten to the point with some aquariums, I really, it, how many animals had to die for one to live? And, and people don't realize that. So I'm a little bit more animal conscious now and where I spend my money. And I guess for educational purposes, it's important to bring kids to see these things. But it's also important to get the lesson that uh, we can humanely do things and, and still have a relatively decent uh, standard of living for these animals in captivity. Oh, you know, yeah. Having been born and raised in Baltimore, and of course, you in New York, you know, the Bronx Zoo and yeah. Baltimore Zoo. Those, they were all built in the 1880s and late 1890s, and they were all very small affairs with small cages and what would happen. Yeah, they've done a lot of changing. Yeah, the bears would just, they would go stir crazy. They just would get, uh, they would go out of their minds and just pace back and forth. Yeah. It was miserable to see that. We, we had a horrible one here in Vegas that they shut down a couple of years ago. It was the oldest zoo in Vegas or animal place in Vegas. And I had the unfortunate experience of having to spend money going there because I wanted to check it out. And the they had a gorilla that was in like a glass enclosure. The gorilla was like enormous. And he was living alone, and that was really hard to see because it's a social animal. Well, the um, what was it, Laura? There was the somebody's mentioning the movie about the killer. There's a movie called Black Water. It's about yeah, Sea World. Yep. And uh, that's the one that kind of turned me off to uh, you know to Sea World. And the kids are you know little kids are like hell no, we're not uh, we're not don't we don't want to go. There. Yeah, I don't care whether they get rid of the uh, killer whales because what about the dolphins and everything else that's in there? So yeah, uh, yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. EBS, I totally agree. I just I don't I can't support that stuff anymore. You know? Yeah, I won't go to I no. I think circus now they don't have animals. No, they got rid of it. Merry Christmas, no. Rocky. You know the the training methods. I'm glad that the world is training as far, you know changing as far as their attitudes. Hey, Lori, oh, one of my one of my favorite animals is the ferret. Mine too. I love ferrets. Yeah, they, they're not they're not legal in California yet. Yeah, no, so they're not. Pick up your ferret. Go step out to Taco Bell to get up a 12 pack of uh, tacos, and you come home, and every fucking drape is pulled down in your house, and every bit of stuffing pulled out in the furniture, the window shades are all pulled out, and you have that fair sitting on the floor with a smile on his face and <laughs> just looking up at you there. They're still hey, cute. How you like me now? <laughs> Good evening, Rosie. Hi, Sean. Hey, Sean. Hi, hey, Laurie. Hey, Tara. Yeah, so. uh, personally, I, I think the whole zoo thing has run its course. Unfortunately, you know, we all grew up with them. They're a great uh, sensory environment for children. But, you know, we just can't keep these animals any longer in, in captivity. So with the event of virtual reality, you know, it's going to become a lot more mainstream, I fear. But... They need to let him rest, personally. Yeah, some do. Some do do rescue. I understand that, but you know, it's the perception of things. I think is the uh, no matter what you're doing, and no matter what Sea World publicizes about their mission to improve habitat and uh, sea life, you know, it's we know what it is. Right. And don't insult our intelligence with that bullshit. So that's the bottom line. Yeah, so is the crap box is coming to California then. Imagine, Sean. I get this text message. It's going to be from Sean. I'm putting it in gear today. I'll see you in four hours. I swear to God, that thing will be the biggest paperweight in your backyard by the time we're finished with it. 
<laughs> I have Sean because Sean's my technical advisor for construction. <laughs> he crossed the wrong wire and boom. <laughs> I'm going to get that. I, I will rent a crane and have that thing lifted 200 feet above the air and dropped. Well, like I said, I help anybody with laborers who just don't have the money to uh, AGOED. I just don't have, uh, I don't want to put you the know what I'm, I'm surprised, Rosie, you haven't built a hot tub outside. Yeah, you, you know, you mentioned that, Debbie, and that, I mean, uh, Lori, and that's, that's a good point. Yeah. I need to get that. I really do. You do. And but it's Lori, good for Jen. Yeah, the thing I noticed that, well, I worry about Jen getting it. I'd have to have a little bit of a design thing on that. It'd have to be a sort of a low grade, I think. But the boss and Janet have had a hot tub forever. They didn't use it once, like the last 16 uh, months or so. So I don't know. I mean, yes. Mom of three boys is yes. Hot tub live streams. Mom of three boys, will you come down and uh, hot tub with me? We'll get, Lord, we'll get Sean, Tara. Huh? And how the cha cha? Mm -hmm. I could make the Lisa Marie you. into a hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> I could see you owning one, though, Rosie, for work purposes. Take it off your taxes. Yeah, got to get that doctor's therapy note right for Jan. Um, they're saying, oh, they're still talking about, it. yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think dogs and cats are about the limit of the stuff. I mean, the boss and Janet have the birds, but God, those fucking things got up for two minutes. Like, no offense, Lord. I know you got a bird, but holy crap. They were yeah, there's, there's allowed. Oh, you know, well, how many do they have? Two. Hey, Junker, they have two. Real, that was two. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, they're keeping a flock of them because mine, mine could be feisty. Now now they know I'm talking about them. They're going to start to pipe up. But usually I don't even hear them. Yeah, Sean's like, I wanted to cut their heads off. <laughs> I'm not saying what. Sean, you know, own it. Own it. All right. Own it. Hey, Stormy. Stormy Jane in the house. Oh, my goodness. I'm gonna go grab another beer. I'll be right back. Let me uh, let me um, pimp for Lori's movie again. Lori, post the link, please. We spent over 500 hours and a 15 minute beautifully edited video, the Boyd video. Please check it out. Leave a nice comment. Leave a thumbs up and share the video on your social media. Okay. Make sure you do that. All right, you put a ton of work in that. You will enjoy it. Okay, we all got the link and we watched it uh, on the channel earlier. So I'm, um, you know, be proud, Lori, of the work that you did. I am. I'm. I'm excited for the two people <laughs> in oh, the video. I want to give the ending away. Um, of a wedding uh, proposal, so marriage proposal. Yeah. So Rosie does it. <laughs> yeah, uh, Sean and Lori, I would I would get myself a couple cats. It's just that I'm allergic to cats. What about uh, hairless cats? I don't want a hairless cat. I want some hair on my cat. Yeah, they're ugly. Aren't they? <laughs> well, that leaves me a bit pussy. of a heart. Yeah, that leaves you in a bit of a hard predicament then, doesn't it? I am not only, well, now we're talking about my bird, so they're starting to, starting to play. You don't Anytime have any I of those, them. Lori, do you have any of those talking birds? I have two parakeets, two little parakeets in this enormous cage that I could fit 20 of them in there comfortably. Um, I bought them a flight cage oh, wow. instead of like oh, a little yeah. cage so that even though when they, they do come out, you know, they they have flight in the room, um, they can still fly in the cage if they're in the cage. They're actually talking to each other now. Um, they, say, they say a couple of words. They'll say... Um, 
they'll call my dog Charlie. Because I'm always yelling at my dog Charlie. So they'll say, Charlie. And they call me Law. Because my husband calls me Law. They'll go, Law. Oh my God. Because my husband calls me Law. And, uh. Hey, Aggie. They can get cute. Now they're getting a little feisty because only because I looked over at them and they know that I'm I'm talking about them. <laughs> Hard birds out there. Now, Laurie, will those birds be you know quacking or not quacking, but you know chip, chippering or whatever that you call it through the night, or do they go no, quiet? No, no, they go they go quiet. Yeah, they have wow. to. Once it gets uh, once it gets dark, like at the Boston Janets, and the lights go out, they're quiet until somebody yeah. in the morning. I know, yeah. like I wanted to kill them last night. That's it. Yeah, you know, they when I talk, they think they have to talk because they're they know me as part of their flock, so they act like birds and they talk. If I like when I was watching you and those birds were chippering. My birds were chippering right back to them. That's why I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> so it, anytime there's any sort of animal noise on my computer, my birds just go off. They were actually pretty smart. Huh? Yeah. Well, they think, you know, they think there's more of them, especially they recognize parakeets um, calls. Welcome to you, Steve Oaken, Steph Oakenberg from uh, Holland. Welcome aboard. Where's the best place to find Class B? Um, I thought I, I had success buying my Class B off of eBay. I had to drive to outside of Reno, but I got a surprise there because there was some misrepresentation. Uh, <laughs> Hey, MB. Hey, MB. Hi, MB. Uh, what else? So I would think even the other one I bought, I bought a Class A off of Craigslist. That was a while ago, right? Sean. Sean, I'm just muting for a second. I'm not really sure the best place. I mean, that's where I, I buy them eBay, but I like, not eBay, but I hope that I like to, the thing I like to do is to go on um, Craigslist and then look around the Bay Area here. They tend to be pretty expensive. One thing that uh, one thing that uh, Marshall is correct about when it comes to uh, camper vans is they're very they're very cheap in places like Florida, and they're super expensive out here in California. So, so it might be worth you going down there. Well, that's what I'm saying. His rig, even in the you know with the work it needs, could still bring about uh, eight eight to nine thousand. Out here in this area, where it might only bring twenty five hundred to three thousand. Now we're talking class B's, Tanya, to bring that price over there. So, uh, oh, you're going to turn your RV into a food truck? Wow, that's interesting. I want to buy a little house. One of those. Mini houses. And what are you going to do with it, Lori? Sit it in the backyard in your big house? <laughs> well, I want to get rid of this house sometime. <laughs> I can't. As see. soon as the last kid is out, I want to, you know, that's well, all I'm waiting for. I can't, is... I can't see you and Howard being happy in a little house. I think after after nine months, you'd go nuts. We used, no, we used to live in a little house. We was We were very happy in it. We started off in in a six hundred square foot tiny little box. Okay, but these are like I don't know three hundred square feet, something like that. These tiny. Yeah, well, we would get one about six hundred. <laughs> you know, like I wouldn't go that tiny. Oh, I, but, okay. 
I'm thinking of the real things that you can trail around and on it. Uh, no, I would find I want to live on my kids' land. <laughs> Just park me wherever my children are, and you know, Grandma <laughs> lives up back. Moving, moving from place to place. Yeah, we we had a home show we went to at the uh, fairgrounds here. They had a. Uh, little home display and I went inside and they were very, it was very cool the way they laid them out. Um, but I just, I knew I couldn't make it long term in something that, uh, something that small. Uh, Aggie said they have a special window just for farts. <laughs> I got no idea, Aggie. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta have room for your shoe collection on there, right? Well, that's the thing. Some of them are so small, like my clot, like my closet is the size of. And I sometimes go into my closet, going, "Can I live in here?" Yeah, uh, hey, Rosie, could you send CJ a link? Absolutely. Uh, is he down in one of the uh, green rooms down there? Yeah, he's in the calls. Okay, let me go pop that down there. Hold on one second. Uh, MB said she made a very long comment that she, she um, it was as short as she could make it, I guess, on your movie, Laurie. So. Oh, I have to you know, go read it. Make make sure everybody subscribes to MB because she's got some amazing videos traveling around. Oh, she does. Uh, that, yeah. Did you see the ice sculpture one? Yeah, that's nice. Oh, my gosh. Rosie, I'm sorry about that yelling before my boys are in the living room destroying it playing VR. It's no, it's no problem. It's no problem. I'm trying to figure out which which of the uh, room. Um, it's in the Titty Emporium. I'm not sure if I got that one. Uh, I mean, I see the current one. Ellie, J. Greg, and Ken and there. <laughs> MB could have written like like her comment could have been in like a newspaper doing a review. <laughs> oh, there's CJ. He just posted. Thank you, CJ. There we go. Okay, my friend. There you go. Love you, MB. All right, so I just picked him up down in the green room. He yelled me down there. So we got that link for CJ. Merry Christmas, CJ. By the way. Let's see, you've been playing virtual reality all day. Man, that stuff gave me a headache. Um, you got a micro class beat. No, uh, Dory Lynn said she was living in a uh, fifth wheel and it just got too small after a while. So I'm not I'm not sure on my own if I could do something because this 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 although the property's big size here, this house is only a thousand square feet. I'm always forever complaining about the kitchen and the lack of lack of counter space and all that. So I wish I don't know if you could do that, Lori, with a small kitchen and I don't know. I'd be okay. A cutting area, a little cutting area and but you know, if I'm gonna do it, it's only gonna be like me and my husband. I'm so used to cooking for a troop. I got, I don't even like my brain doesn't even comprehend cooking for two people. I don't. So with I think I would be fine if I was just like it would be sort of simple. Merry Christmas um, to you, Douglas. And your mom too. Hey, Cameron. Welcome aboard. Uh, I know I made a mistake with this little van. I mean, Elvis, he's absolutely correct when, uh, you know, he's not in an RV. So uh, it's nice for Boone. You'll never get, uh, you'll never get, you know, tagged out there. Boone, cops will never be up knocking on your door. So, so have you worked out yet why Coach is pissed with you, Rosie? Has he put up a video yet explaining it? <laughs> he always puts up the video. Then he takes it down and he feels guilty, right? <laughs> He's got his winky in the zipper. Hey, CJ. Hey, mate. Hey, CJ. Hello, Tara. How can he go on a date with me if he's mad at me? I don't know. I don't. <laughs> John's like, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? 
did Buffer New Head come from? <laughs> you know me, CJ. I always have a kind of a taste for the, uh, and uh, Sean, a taste for the kind of uh, out there. And <laughs> don't, don't take that any further, anybody, okay? Yeah, as, as long as you don't mind being mistaken for walking around with a fire hydrant, you're laughing. Yeah, I would definitely, I would definitely do a live stream date with uh, with Jeremy. That would really be uh, oh my god! Fun. Look at Jessica, Jessica. He would ask you the most random shit you've ever heard in your life. It'd be like never ending. So Rosie, hmm. <laughs> and before you all ask, no, Elvis and I never dated. Okay, the most I ever did with Elvis was... That fork would be goat playing yo-yo up and down, and you'd be trying to put it in your mouth, and be like, Rosie, and be like, oh, God damn. I you know, now. he's never going to change. I don't know about what I put in my mouth, I'm just saying. <laughs> you know that? He's never going to change. He's, he's easily led. Well, he's he's on the train, right, CJ? So that's that's right. I'm sure he's a nice guy. He's just very thin-skinned. Cool. Are we talking about the same one? Look, I'm trying to be decent. Sweet, <laughs> <laughs> honey. Well, <laughs> You're sweet, but it's just I. I'm just I'm a people person. I'm just interested in different people in the uh, in the community. So is he part of Raw, um, Drawy's stable now? Is he going to go in through that induction process and training program? Let him stay down there too, the bastard. I don't know. See, Lori and I have been with, you know, have been around Coach for a few years now, and coming at you. He will. He coming can, all over you. He, right. can, <laughs> he kind of goes from side to side. Something he could go south on you. He can go left on you real quick. So I don't. I don't want to say. You know, I'm not sure what his association is with uh, with Rory. I mean, I've always appreciated Rory's always been a gentleman. To me, but I don't really know. I'm not. I'm not privy to phone calls. I know Bergs looks at Rory as a mentor. Yeah, oh know. God! Can you pitch that? <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Miss Bailey. Merry Christmas. Uh, yeah. You know, like I've, I've got nothing against it. Really, against the guy. He does. He works. He earns his living. He doesn't beg. You know. He's a stand-up guy, as far as that is concerned. He's just, He's just looking for somebody to pal around with. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I mean? He doesn't know which direction to go in. He's had a he's had a rough life too, you know. So. Yeah, it's it's like um, you know he's he's enjoying the uh, enjoying the ride. That's that's why I cut him slack. You know what I mean? But uh, you know, I I think he's. I'd like to get Gerald in a suit and tie. I think that'd be interesting. You know, to get wouldn't that be funny? Out of his element. Hey, Bell G. I think they're, they're yes, my lord. <laughs> Not guilty. Don't you think that would be cute, Sean, to live stream a uh, a, a, a date with Gerald? You know. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> CJ, what do you think? Huh? If he starts digging um, a hole, run. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Poor Gerald. <laughs> All I gotta say is I don't know if that video is up anymore, but that delivery, that pizza delivery, was enough to crack me the hell up. Twenty dollar pizza, ninety dollar freaking interview. The funny thing is that chick that uh, that that trans gal that was. Uh, I know he was acting like, oh, you're transgender. I was like, oh my god, that's a shocker. <laughs> She's been, a, she's been a Facebook friend of mine for years now, so that's the funny thing. Hey, Sugar Cane. The trans she must have been laughing her ass off, Rosie. You know that? Yeah, I'm saying the trans girl is a lot smaller than you think. And uh, She knew my channel and friended me up. We wanted to friend up on uh, Facebook. I'm like, okay. Yeah. You know, she's actually a really nice. She's actually a really nice person. You know? Oh yeah, yeah. She seemed like it, but she yeah. just looked like. What the hell's up with this guy? <laughs> You're on 60 minutes. Yeah. 9500 coming at you. <laughs> There's a clock on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. 9500 will be interviewing uh, later. <laughs> <laughs> 
Brought to you by Ford Motor Company. <laughs> Can you imagine somebody edited a tape, the best of boy, like the last four years? Oh my God, we'd be rolling. Now, Lori has like the best of uh, Boyd in terms of creative collaboration on the <laughs> But the worst of Boyd, yeah, now that would be really, uh, that would We've be, seen some doozies. That would be, uh, that would be a fucking doozy. That would be fun to tell. <laughs> yeah. They're just, I don't know, I'm not, I, I had to take Spanish two times. That wasn't a real language. Dear boy, Dorlin, that's it. But I'll be hanging out, I'll be meeting, Coach wants me to get a bike. And start to do bike riding and do uh, videos. It's nice for you to keep in shape, but it's too dangerous here to bike. And I don't know if Florida is much better. Every time you ride down the road, there's some blue here. You would need a GoPro, like one that like six sticks on your helmet. Yeah, but I know Mario, every time you go down the highway, there's a blue hair and a car and a canal. You know, <laughs> it just runs <laughs> balls. You know, and didn't 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 make the turn and drove in, and now under alligator attack in the median area from uh, just didn't, or else they're parked in front of a Seven Eleven, and instead of putting it in reverse, they have it forward and snap the gas and go through the fucking window of the of the store. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Street, street life. Why do you want to? Do you really want to see me and Gerald? Uh, street life's really putting this together. He really wants to see this date between me and Gerald, Mister Big Wheels. Huh? I mean, that would be content. Come on. I mean, it would be. It would be pretty. I mean, he's. I think he can be a real gentleman. I think he might have more to fear from me than. Uh, <laughs> I'll leave it at that. I'm not going to say any more. You remember the video? You remember the video where Coach came out of the bathroom wrapped in just a towel around him in the motel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I'm sorry, Sean. <laughs> <That's> okay. <laughs> uh, Sean's like, have some more beers. It might get better. <laughs> it's better here tonight. Oh man, Sean, what did you have? Anything special for dinner? Uh, no, we didn't actually. We did sort of like a buffet today at the uh, in laws, nice. so it was actually it made a nice change. What was on the uh, what was, this, what was on the spread? What they have? Uh, roast beef, roast turkey, uh, salami, you know, bagels, cheeses, crackers, quite a spread. Hey, Chips, dips, no hula hoops, unfortunately. <laughs> Those random chips. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I get killed before I made it to this freedom shattered. Hey, Janie, how are you, sweetheart? Tara, weigh in on it. You're you're one of my best friends. I've hung out with you in many times in real. What do you think of a date with uh, Rosie on a date with uh, Gerald? What do you think? I think you kill me. <sighs> yeah, that would work out. Just don't get them angry. <laughs> <laughs> like, where does his head stop and his hair start? You know, like <laughs> I just think he's he's just so he's so cute and squishy, you know. I mean, <laughs> like a walking hemorrhoid. Every time, every time I see him, he has that camera up on the up on the overhead bed, pointing down into the uh, pointing backwards into, and I see him looking up at that. And looking at that camera, Coach 9500 coming <laughs> on you. You know, every time I'm watching his, uh, he looks so cute standing there, standing there. What do you think, Joe King? A date with a uh, date with Gerald? Hmm? Get Joe King to weigh in on that. John says yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Content. Content. Why not? You'd set him straight. That's a damn sure. <laughs> It was you. You put the idea in my head, Street Life. No, and Joe King said no, no, no. Ah, uh, come on, Joe. 
Oh, come on. This is it's Christmas. And so this is Christmas. Ooh. <laughs> like Somebody said, would just, want to draw him eyebrows. <laughs> he's easily led. Like just what exactly happens on your date. Whatever the hell I want to happen. <laughs> happens on my dates. I think Gerald would be like a perfect gentleman on YouTube. Don't sure. you? I, mean, YouTube I think he would. He would be so sweet and pull out the chair and I mean get, yep. get if he, if he could, yeah, left it. Yeah. Yep. What would what would you get an Uber or would you uh, push him in a pram or what? <laughs> That's a baby carriage for you and me. Yeah, <laughs> 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 I would take him by the hand right there. That's it, damn it. That's it. That's funny. Oh, Gerald is uh, Coates, 9,500 sugar cane, and Merry Christmas to you and uh, and yours, your mom and everybody. Um, street life, I'd probably just ask, uh, just ask YouTube to pay for the dinner, right? So we'll see. What do you think, CJ? What's the tab for the night? Hell, I'd pay for that dinner. Yeah. yeah. What the hell would you give him? He only eats pizza, so... We gotta go. Yeah, would it, it would that be Dory Lynn? It's like uh, Gerald, your prom date's here. <laughs> <laughs> First, we gotta meet your mom, Rosie. You gotta fix that dress up a little. <laughs> My mom can't see that. You get to put your coat on or something like that. What do you think, Jessica Jennifer? Uh, oh man, that's funny. <clears throat> that is funny. He's 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 funny though. He pops up in the mouth. You get him heated, he starts popping. But Gerald does have a. He can really get. Um, I'm five. I'm probably just a little bit bigger than Gerald is. Probably just a little. People, you know, people who say Elvis is shorter than actually Elvis is legit five eight. I'm really five. <laughs> get out of here. Where are you? God damn. Okay, take care, MB. He's 5'4 at best. Hey, don't forget, though, he lost <laughs> a couple of inches of that hair, you know? So. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the dude? He looks like uh, Treat Wood. That would be uh, CJ on here. Hmm? That's it. Take care, MB. Merry Christmas to you. Bye, MB. Bye, MB. Hope you had a good one. Yeah. Yeah, Sean, get out of here, huh? All right. Good. No, that's what Bonnie said. No, no. Um, I just think it'd be, I think it's interesting to date people on like YouTube and stuff. <clears throat> You'd probably try and roofie a milkshake, so. Yeah, I mean, um, but he does have, he can really let fly Blue Streak when he wants to. I mean, you know, there was a time he was really uh, cursing up and uh, on daily rants against uh, Marshall. And uh, a lot of us were really shocked. Uh, yeah. so, I'm not but did you catch the other night when Marshall said was doing, he, he was do, it was one of his several live streams <laughs> where he said, you know, maybe Gerald's going to buy me new tires. Oh, Jesus. Well, I, I hope not. You know? I think you meant rubbers. Hey, Odame. Odame. I can't ever tell people what to do, but, uh, you know. Oh, Odame. Like, I wonder how his date went, by the way, Rosie. You know? Um, last I heard, he was tooling down the highway and hit, like, some traffic situation down there. And then it seemed like the closer he was getting to Laura's location, the progressively more ill she was becoming. <laughs> Must have been the smell. Did he glimpse her? <laughs> 130, 130, when he turned the key ignition and started at the 135 mile countdown point, he was well, chipper, three hours in that rig. He was chipper on the side chat, really excited. At the 100 mile mark, she started to feel a little uneasy in her stomach. And by the 50 mile mark, she was potentially being hospitalized. Then. Blowing chunks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the the movie. Yeah, the title I, don't, I don't want to say anything. I don't. I don't. I don't want to say anything. Yeah, I might call him in a bit. He might get something pissed. wicked comes this way. 
<laughs> you know, I don't want to make this all about him, but I'm just saying I, I, I was focusing on Gerald tonight. Tonight's my night to kind of focus on Gerald uh, in here because Gerald was mad. You know, he was Gerald was madder than hell with me the other night. Yeah, but for what? Because of the wrench stuff. Because somebody Gerald, booted yeah. him. It wasn't me. We all yeah. hey, we all voted on that. Greg, Greg should be the one to handle the wrench. Yeah, it was by so much Sean, smoother that way. And Sean didn't care about it. He Sean didn't care about a uh, a wrench. He never asked for a wrench or anything. I, no, but that was dirty pull on that. Drury was freaking I what to me. On. I I had no idea what was going on. So Gerald got very mad at me because I didn't, you know, because I was telling him, please don't time or wrench people out. Because Sean was telling me that Gerald is timing out people and deleting people or something. So I was just trying to keep things cool, but. Deleting comments. Yeah, Gerald. Well, Ger <clears throat> Gerald is just trying to please his friends, which is glory. He's, he's very. He's very. He can be very sensitive. So I try to be uh, extra careful. Mm -hmm. with, uh, As I said, he's easily led. <laughs> well, he's just very. He's very sensitive, and I didn't want him to be like. Uh, I I know when he was threatening Tucker. I told him I said, "Don't make me come down there. Where the hell you are? I'll beat the shit out of you, you little pipsqueak." <laughs> Merry Christmas, CJ. <laughs> 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 Yo ho ho! <laughs> I live less than twenty four hours away from where you're at. Yeah, that's like that's the abominable bumble. Yeah. Oh, fucking Rudolph the Red Nose Ranger, you it's, old fat fucking. I'm ranger. telling you, it's funny as shit. You get somebody like Elvis popping up the mouth and you see him coming around the corner. He turns like five shades of white. I don't know. <laughs> I'm putting all my attention on my Gerald tonight, my sweet Gerald tonight on Christmas here. Merry Christmas, Vegas Barbie. Uh, I'm just saying, uh, she would. I just, I smelled fish cooking tonight. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. All right. Hey, can you, hey Sean, can you picture that? What's that? Elbow treating somebody up for lunch or supper. No, thank you. No, hey. Thank you. McDonald's. <laughs> God, <yeah. sighs> Two for five. Can you imagine CJ being pissed at you, rampaging? It's like, hello. Oh, I try not to be. Trust me. I try not no, to be. I mean, you're a sweetheart. You're a big, sweet, cuddly sweetheart. I know that. I'm just saying. I wouldn't want to be a guy that crossed the girl that you cared about that got insulted by some guy. Oh, I'm, that way. I'm that way here with anybody, really. Yeah, you probably put his fucking head into a pretzel or something, you know. I mean, I, I'm all for busting somebody's chops. You know, we all earned our stripes here, but oh yeah, some, some of these guys cross the line. It's that's when you set them straight. See, Bonnie says I'd love to piss CJ off. Wouldn't that be? <laughs> oh, thank you, Vegas. Thank you, sweetheart. I'm gonna meet you next time we're down in Vegas. I'm sorry I didn't have time. She kind of hailed me from the side chat, but Mr. Z was driving at that time, and I couldn't really. Uh, um, meet Vegas Barbie, but I hope to meet her next time. So, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm focusing on my Gerald tonight. In yeah. here. Fi, you, Giro. Hey, you, Giro. I'm going to change the title to my love letter to Gerald tonight to coach. <laughs> Nine about 100 coming at you. Hey, now. <laughs> yeah, it's Rosie. Hey, now. <laughs> I love the way Steve does that. <laughs> If he sees something really, he can go real deep. Hey, no. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> then you see Gerald doing a, a freaking yeah. uh, what's his face? Oh my! Yeah, <laughs> but it's it's funny to see Gerald just kind of hanging on for the ride. It's hilarious to me. Oh, I love these kind of hangouts. That's why I love streams too. They're nice and calm. Well, I need I need it. I last night was such a shit show on. Oh uh, my god! I can't do that. Like, you know, I'll probably probably by four hours I'll knock back a dozen beers or so. That's that's so fucking 2014. It's not even funny. Well, Street Life, you put the beat, you put the idea in my head. I'm gonna make that happen, and it's not gonna be too much longer that I'm gonna be meeting up with Gerald. You know, maybe he'll come out west with the king. What do you think? Hmm? Oh god! Imagine, no, no, no. no. Sweet. Minus him. Yeah, Sean's hair just stood on. <laughs> 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 two sets of toe straps now. Oh god! Dude, Sean's like I'm bringing two. I'm bringing think, gun guns. To, tell you, to tell you the truth, I think Gerald would appreciate uh, that. 
Sean would be like I'm bringing three fucking stun guns to the ranch. One for Rose, <laughs> one for Rose, one oh, for Jeremy. I'm gonna I'm gonna tie all these together. Two three thousand bolts in tall. It would be like a you know the wedding car being driven off. You know, tin cans following. Oh boy. But I did assess the rig uh, before, and I I do things that needs to be done on that uh, thing. It's reaching the point where you're probably you're looking at a lot of work on that uh, <laughs> band now. A lot of stuff. So, uh, oh, Miss Glory Green. Yeah. Yes. I'm just making sure you're there, honey. Yeah. I went to get coffee. And to tell my husband, we have the weird thing going on in my sink. Uh, we have like three spigots on my, we have like the regular sink water right. that has a tall, like you put pots under it. Mm -hmm. um, we have a hot water dispenser and we have water filter. Um, yeah. And for some reason, the water filter is now spewing out hot water. Uh oh. Yeah, and I have no idea why. And then the spaghetti spigot the regular spigot on the the sink yeah. the pre water pressure is like it takes forever to fill up so i had to go show my husband because it doesn't always do it it's only been doing it sporadically yeah so somebody then he, he never believes me when i say something is wrong hey has somebody been down in the basement playing around with the valves or no I, there's a cross below and there might be some linkage that has a part right I, I have to bring in a plumber because that's beyond my... Well, well when's the last time you had your zones checked then? Well, it's been a while. But not yeah. that it, not that long. What do you, what do you um, got on there? Honeywell? Like within the six know, months. Do you got Honeywell's on there? No. I have city water. No, no, no. Honeywell's. That's the gauges on there. Oh, I don't know what that is. Well, they they have like a, um, it's wax. So when you turn on the faucet and stuff, it, it will open and close. They're, oh, probably, open, they're probably a past due. Yeah, well, all of this is new. I mean, it's only maybe six months old, not even like Holy over the shit. summer. And th did you have a professional plumber you install it or no? No. <laughs> well, there you go, hon. No, I did not. I bet my you my much daughter's you boyfriend did it. <laughs> yeah. Huh, there we go. Just have a, have a plumber come in there. I guarantee the zones are screwed. Yeah, that's kind of what I need to. It's driving me crazy because washing dishes is getting difficult. You know, just yeah, to rinse off a disc what, when you're. You you burn an oil in that thing or no? Oil. Yeah, you got an oil tank. In the sink. No, I don't, no, 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 no. In the basement. Vegas. Oh, and my my yeah, I have a, no, I don't have oil. Gas heat, I think, probably. Yeah, it's gas heat, and it's brand new. All right, well, keep an eye on your gauge. Yeah. I get a plumber in there as soon as you can, hon. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, but it's Christmas, so we'll right. wait until, you know, no, next Gerald, week. Gerald, keep an eye on my gauge, please. <laughs> if you knew how many hack jobs I had to go fix because of that reason, you know. Really? Yeah. Yeah, well, we thought he did the he and like when we had the bathroom done upstairs, he did a lot of the work. Yeah. Um, he didn't do all the tiling job, but he did. You know, he because his he father, does. he's like learning, and his Joey, and he's usually very good, but yep. I think this is a little above his pay grade. Uh, Joey D hit the nail on the head. There's a mixer valve in there that uh, is probably gone bad or something. Mary, yeah. Vinny G, thank you, my friend. It's well into. Uh, Boxing Day for Vinny G down there. So hope Mr. you're Vinny G. Yep. He's a good bloke. Yeah. I, how I learned my trade though is on the dairy farm. You know, you learn all about that shit. You would actually plumbing. You know, we can do a couple plumber. Come on, get real. It absolutely have to be a mixer valve. Yeah, mixing a mixer valve sounds. I yep. mean, just by the name Mixer, it's, yeah. you know, yeah. I look under there and I'm like, I don't know one thing from another, but yeah, yeah but I'm just, saying word, just by the word Mixer Valve. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, though, hun, when it comes to gas, don't screw around with that shit. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, it it was working properly all these months. It just yeah. it just this is the second time it's happened. But yeah, I've I've noticed the, the progression of water pressure going down. Yeah. And the then, valves are screwed. Yeah, so we'll just get a plumber, no big deal. He'd, he'd probably get good, you know, doing a shower and all that plumbing stuff, but when it came to the furnace or the boiler. Todd, yeah, absolutely. You gotta kick ass. Kick well, ass. how is it the boiler? Because the boiler is in the garage and the he only did work underneath the sink. Well, I mean, I, he had to connect. The, he had to connect that to the boiler, didn't he? Not. I'm glad to say, I have a video on how well, to, to the pipes that go well, to the boiler. That's what I'm saying. That's where you're getting hot water from, huh? CJ, why don't you just hop yeah. down there? I'm gonna just bring in a professional on Monday. Yeah. And uh, it should be simple. now. <laughs> should be simple. Should be very simple to uh, very simple to fix that. Or you just put in a new mixer valve, and that's it. So. Well, just like you, Rosie, you got to be careful too with those tubes, man. Oh, I know. Did you see that the? Was, that was one hell of an explosion, huh? Yeah, tubes don't explode, but old capacitors will. Old, old uh, electrolytic capacitors will explode. And I'm, I'm lucky I had safety glasses on because that would have taken my eyes out. That. Oh time. yeah. Yeah, that shit ain't no joke. That ain't no joke. That stuff. That was really. Uh, yeah, but it's happened to me many times over the years, DJ. That's why I wear. Yeah, I don't. I don't feel any of that shit. One time I played around with the back of an old TV, a Zenith. I think it was. I got racked. Oh, they knocked man. me on my ass. Really, they're super high voltage. They have uh, really step up voltage to 600, 800, a thousand volts on those things. Yeah, it knocked me on my ass. Believe me. Cool. I mean, that's highly dangerous. This shit can kill you because if you have two hands. On a tube circuit with 400, 500 volts, think about where your hands are. The, that current passes from one hand right across your chest and your heart and right to the other hand. It's the worst possible location. Yeah. So you got to you got to uh, neutralize them by sparking them out. But do that. But then I, uh, we always work with one hand behind our back, so we never have two hands on the equipment. So. Well, that, that's just it, Rosie. It was in the backyard for over a year. Yeah. And I was screwing around with it. I hit something my shin of it. Man, it knocked me on my ass. You just hold. I remember in high school, we had an electricity lab, and somebody rolled a big old can capacitor across the floor. I picked that fucker up, and it almost flew. It yeah. almost flew me through the door. It was so heavy to charge on that thing. It was unbelievable. So, Merry Christmas, Tammy. Anybody see my Gerald? Tell him I'm looking for him. No, he just uploaded a video a short while ago showing his pizza and, uh, Having a few words of wisdom for Tucker. Oh boy, here we go. My Tucker, I'm just. I could fix your. I could fix your heart problem, Tucker. I'm just. <laughs> Jill, Jill's got big cojones, man. Right, Sean Tucker. Oh my lord. <laughs> Can you imagine? You don't want to play around with Tucker. <laughs> the CJ be like, hey now. <laughs> yeah, that's when CJ jumps in the freaking. Uh, Somebody you don't want to play around with. No, it ain't nothing you want to play around with. Well, days. that's just like you, Rosie. I wouldn't tolerate that shit with you either. You know what I mean? Somebody doing that to you? Uh-uh. I know, CJ. I, I have a lot more forbearance because I'm more of a, what would you say, an amateur sociologist in life. I mean, I enjoy understanding what makes people tick. And, uh, yeah, you're a people person. You like yeah. to see what goes on. You're a people person too, but I'm I'm more like a hands-on kind of people person. Like I love to meet people in person on uh, on YouTube. And, yeah, and get all up in their shit and stuff and find. <laughs> like, Rosie, you do need to calm down your night your night streams a bit. You're putting yourself in potential risk. Yeah, we all said I can't even watch them now. Now you know what, CJ? I'm powered up with two million Scoville heat units of spray, my man. I'm ready to go. You had, me on, uh, you had me on the edge of the seat, girl. And, and Greg said the same thing. Jay you know, Greg said the same you're thing. You're not on the edge of the seat. You're not bringing that good content. Right? Yeah, well, I'm just saying, hon. I don't want to see you get hurt. Thank you, CJ. I appreciate yeah. it. I appreciate it. It's just tuning me up for road things. I know. You're, you're trying to venture into new things. I know that. You yeah, don't want to be the same old, same old. I'm trying to make sure that the streams are ultra good, uh, quality and investing in that kind of equipment to uh, you should have sell down buildings or something something a bit less uh, you know, dangerous 
Well, she's trying to venture out in her new things, you know what I mean? But no, I get it. One of them. No, I totally get it, but I just worry. Yeah, I can't even watch. Not for a hundred dollars and a beer. No. Well, I don't. I don't venture out on the street in this. I mean, I'm, I'm usually just in a sweatshirt or <laughs> something like that. You know. I mean, you know, I'm, Rosie, you know the way those neighborhoods are down in those little alleyways. They're just yeah, waiting. Sorry, Mama Three. But I don't mean to get you guys upset. I just have a very high comfort and I have a very high street awareness, and I know exactly. No, I get it. You look silly, but I'm, I mean, it just I'm, takes I'm, one. I know when to hold them and when to fold them. There's uh, whiskey. Whiskey, what do we got? Whiskey OG. My whiskey's out there. Whiskey. Yeah, we like whiskey. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Opie, I mean, I'm a socialist anthropologist with heart. That's right. So, Tara, you're quiet there, girl. I'm, I'm a quiet person, period. Oh, come on now. <laughs> now, Rosie, with Jen's procedure that's coming up, is that going to be under local anesthetic? Yeah, it's going to be under a local. This, this, uh, she is a German surgeon, and they're yakking away her, and then it's like, uh, I think it should take about a half hour. Or so, right, incise that, remove it, and then put it, uh, you know, suture that up. So I'm gonna make sure she gets first class uh, care all the way on that. Yeah, so it's it's going to be less pain. Dealt with with this thing interfering, you know, when it gets, when it's near a nerve, it's it can be painful. These lipomas and stuff. So um, I'm glad she's going to get that taken out. Yeah. Well, you like, have bringing. Have in you ever seen that uh, pimple pop? What is it? The pimple popper doctor or something? I'm, yeah. I've heard of it, but it's not something that I, I <laughs> care to watch. You know that kind of stuff. I mean, some people are fascinated by watching. To me. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't get it. You know. I don't. I don't. I don't find it interesting at all. Well, well that, that, yeah, it's like me saying I don't understand Elvis. You know, your uh, friendship with Elvis, but you know. Yeah, it's a course, course, course. Course. That's the same kind of deal. It's like, how do you, you know, it, it's yeah, but, certain keys work in certain. You know, the key works in certain locks, and then it doesn't work in other ones. It's like it's inexplicable, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I get it. <laughs> I I I break I didn't end up breaking my foot in his ass. I'm telling you right now. If Elvis is here, Sean, and you show up and hang out for the day, we'll see who's the I have a clean record in the USA. I really don't want to <laughs> fuck that up. That's when it would be a rogue. I'm not sure. See, biking is very dangerous here because of the wine tasting and every all these wineries and stuff. And, People get knocked off their bikes with drunk drivers and stuff. I'd be a little, I'd be more worried. I'm, I'm, I feel more safe walking the streets and doing what I do than being on a bike out there. Fuck that. I can't wait for Elbow's first. Uh, here, I bought a bike video. Thing to us, English or Australian man. That's uh, that's our English man. That's Sean the Brit. I'm here. Hey, Rosie. Oh, well. Rosie, oh, no, right? I thought you were gonna buy a thirty-eight special, Rosie. Uh, yeah, we're going out the next couple of days. <laughs> That's what I was gonna ask you. So now, what's the deal with YouTube? You can't do any more range uh, videos, or you can do range videos? They don't want you doing a lot of how-to and cleaning and other stuff like that. So there, you, you do that stuff too, don't you? Target shoot. Yeah, I do. Uh, once in a while. <laughs> It's kind of it got kind of boring lately. I don't enjoy it as much as I used to. Oh Jesus, that can be real fun, you know, if you make it a real game, balloons and all that shit. And she has a lot more freedom down there than we do on our our range, ranges are just terrible. Yeah. You know. Yeah, the the range over here is uh is really awesome. My it's an indoor range and it's really fancy. Yeah. So I I got a really nice range close to where I live. That'd be that'd be great if you guys ever met up and did a uh, competition. Well, I'm not very good at it at all. Oh. I just like to shoot. Yeah, but you know, hey, it's all in practice. Yeah. I don't hear any feedback. Does somebody hear feedback? I don't hear anything up here. 
mama three boys. That's like a, does anybody do t uh, turkey shoots over there or no, Rosie? No, you can't do anything around here, uh, PJ. This is like. You can't go to a gun club and do a turkey shoot? No, hell no. no oh, only, my God. The only thing you can do is do a ski shot, you know, shoot some ski. That's about it. There's nothing yeah. else. You know, nothing else that you can do. So you're really restricted up there. I see you. I see you, Vinny. You're certainly welcome to have a link if you want to come on. I see you. I'm going to grab another beer. I'll be back in a minute. I'm waiting on my coats to come in here. Vinny, come up here, mate. This is nice. I like this. Nice and calm. So, CJ and uh, Sean, do you have a handgun yourself? Yes. What do you got? Oh. Mine's a uh, Springfield XD45. I've had it for about 10 years. Oh, I don't carry anymore, Tara. I'm all so, done with it. To me, it's not worth it. And I just got my CCW recently, so. Well, that's cool. Jesus, that's unbelievable how bad they are with restricting them. Yeah, I used to have to try. I used to have to shoot twice a year. You have to meet, make, make a certain point. You know what I'm saying? In order to qualify. So you were in the military, CJ? No. The only thing I ever did, and it's got nothing to do with the military, is um, my Merchant Marines document. That's it. Oh. But I worked on Coronado and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. I've done my share of stuff. Hi, Jinx. Do you, live in, right? are you, do you live in England, CJ? What's that, hon? Where do you live? In England? Oh, I live here in Connecticut. New England. Oh, yeah, Connecticut. He's on the East Coast. Yeah. Yep. I float all over the place. New York, all the way to Jersey, to Massachusetts, to New Hampshire. Yeah. Well, the gun laws in New Hampshire are awesome, right? Yeah. Boston's only three hours away from where I'm at right now. Montreal is about six and a half. New York's about three hours away from me as well. Oh. Man, there we go. It's like somebody's asking me how, how long it takes for me to get from Georgia to here or here to Georgia. 13 and a half hours. Especially if I'm pissed. Good day, Vinny. Uh, Welcome aboard, Vinny. Hello, Vinny. Hey, hi, Vinny. Hey, Vinny. Takes him to get a minute, minute to get his signal properly. Hey, you, yeah, man. Mike. Oh, jeez. Can you hear me, Vinny? I'm tired. Yeah. You're protecting the core. Yeah. I'm just going to mute Sean for a second. can sound like somebody's being burned. I'm waiting for him to say, Oi, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Sean's, got, Sean's got such an interesting house to <laughs> I love that. Oh, shit. We're wrapping it up on Reaper Man, getting a rundown. Yeah, do you want a link? Uh, yeah, man. Let me know if you want a link. Uh, link, okay? Oh, man. Hey now. Hey now. I love the way CJ. That's so sexy. Man. You rang. If I got yeah, I got yeah, man. I'm sending you a link if you want a platform. Yeah, Vinny cracks me up. Yep. I nice open it first before you drink it. <laughs> come on, Gerald. Come on out to play. Sean, have you heard from our mate stickers at all today or not? No, I haven't. 
That was quick, Rosie. Thank you. I haven't seen him. Yeah, man. I got my. Uh, yeah, man. I got my approved four. Yeah, man. Oh, you're looking lovely tonight, Rosie, and so are you, Tara. Uh, mm. Good to see you, yeah, man. Good evening. Yeah, let me welcome. Uh, let, me welcome let me welcome Vinny. Vinny, can you? Sorry, hear me? I'm having. That's yes. it. Good evening, Vinny. Buddy Popper, everybody. Lori, hey, good evening. You too. Let me do Holidays been wonderful. Yeah, uh, Vinny, can you hear me? Test, test, test. Communications. Now I can hear you. Okay, yeah. welcome aboard. Good day, Vinny. Good box, boxing day to you. Hi, Jill. Merry Christmas. Vinny's going big time coming up with his uh, your box there, Vinny. Um, you guys don't know what that means, but he made a significant investment into a piece of equipment that's going to really amp up his, uh, his hangouts in terms of sound and, and music and all that. Uh, two two pieces now, two pieces, and I'm trying to work my camera because since installing all these drivers and stuff, ah, oh, tell you, it's unbelievable. Turn camera off. So let me. Why has it done this? Ah, Microsoft Life Cam. One of them will work. Oh, here we go. That's better than nothing. There you are. Mm, look at this. Look at this, Rosie. Oh, my God. Look at that. Yeah, you were shocked. Oh, oh, excuse me. Yeah, hello. But, but that's not the magic. The magic's this thing here, the, that little box there. That uh, regulates your signal to a straight 96 kilohertz, which means perfect uh, digital reproduction with no latency whatsoever. It's... Uh, yeah. Vinny, you really put some money in, you know? This is a fucking yeah. rocket out of a space shuttle. Mm. Yeah. No, I'm really I, – I can't – the worst thing is I can't use any of it. <laughs> well, explain to people what the practical side of all that hardware means, Vinny. What is, what's the upside for people to come to your stream? What is, what's that going to mean? Well, technically, I can hold a 16 – uh, piece band concert all on my own if I'm good enough. So technically, uh, you got guys out there that do the raves and all the uh, trap dance and all that sort of stuff. Basically, there's no instrument, there's no band, there's no nothing. There is just this. And I hope to learn how to use it. If not, it's just going to collect dust. Uh, but anyway. I digress. Merry Christmas. It's fun. I, I, I really admire you for moving forward and, and making that acquisition. Like I'm, I'm going to be making a major acquisition in live streaming equipment uh, with bonded, with bonded cellular service, multiple cellular uh, bonding, several cell signals together to try to get up to 1080p live stream quality out on the street. So it's you know you got to put money in to get the product. So yeah, I was um, I was actually looking at your live streams and um, when you go around on the streets and that, um, I, I was looking at the Oz DJI Osmo, you know the camera stabilizer for your mobile phone. Yep. Yeah, I was thinking about one of those. They're only 180 bucks, and the quality you get out of them, like you could, you could fall over drunk. And still have a stable picture, oh, you know what I mean? That's, that's the way I feel about the Sony FRX or whatever the hell it is they use in their bonding internet to multiple cell signals to be able to actually run an external with an HDMI. You can actually run an external uh, camera and do away with yourself. Have all that stability with the camera and all that stuff. Yeah. I know. Just because I start to get too, I start to get too big looking out there on the street, and it's, that pushes me kind of into a, a danger zone a little bit uh, on that. So we'll see. I, mean, I admire what the thing is uh, what you got. So Bunny says I can't beat all of this. 
We'll take it back to we'll take it back to yeah man sex talk here. Huh? <laughs> yeah man, I got your silver on Ford Silver tonight. Oh I love it. I'm loving it, Rosie. <laughs> how was your, how was your Thanksgiving? My Thanksgiving was good. <laughs> I'm thinking about Gerald. I can't, you know, your your Christmas. How was your Christmas? Huh? My Christmas was great. I can't complain. I got myself a generator. I can't have seven chambers in the house. I can't complain. Someone's getting bashed. I'm calling the oh, oh. <laughs> fun. God damn. <laughs> Vinny, that was funny as fuck yesterday on the or the night day before a mama bear stream, you know, when uh, tragically little Rosie died. Yeah. So uh, she was getting trolled pretty heavy. And uh, she was really starting to get on edge. And all of a sudden, a fake berg showed up on the side chat because Mama Bear was starting to freak out. And the fake berg said, that's it. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm she, calling the um, police right now. And she went off. Go back to Rosie's chat, berg. Yeah, it was I, a I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. I'm just uh, pointing the camera down because uh, I know Whiskey's uh, pretty interested in this kind of stuff. Uh, hey, whiskey. This this is like seriously a real learning curve. I, I jumped into a fucking deep rabbit hole here, whiskey. I'm just saying, really, really deep, you know. But uh, yeah, it's it's all set up, ready to go. But um, yeah, uh, she was on. Um, she, Mama Bear was on um, Pam and Rick's stream, and yeah. um, she said. In Pam and Rick's stream, she goes, Vinny G, you doxed me. And I said, <laughs> I, <laughs> I said, I, I saw that. Yeah, I, I, said, I just replied in the stream and it made Pam laugh. I replied, I did no such thing, you wretched old hag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, hey, Rose, I, I asked Mama Bear if Tucker sent her a Christmas card. Yeah, I, I gave her a little something for Christmas. I mean, the entertainment value's been off the hook on a lot of stuff, uh, you know, in my mind. But I didn't know Tucker sent her a. Uh, EBS, I know you pissed me in, but come on, don't don't add kids into it. It's Christmas. I just asked her if he did. Hey, Joe, how are you, sweetheart? Yeah, let's. See, it's Christmas night. Um, I get you. I know you're pissed. It's all right. Why is he pissed? He's just humming. He's all right. ABS is all right. Yeah, no, he's really pissed tonight, so. Why? No. He's always coming after me. Who cares? I ignore it. Merry Christmas, ABS. I don't know. Coffee. Yeah. When he's enjoying his boxing day. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. You'll get over it, buddy. Vinny, did you now? Nicole explained that Boxing Day is the day after Christmas that the servants are taken care of. By the uh, Boxing Day. I can't remember. Uh, hang on. Hey Google, what is Boxing Day? According to Wikipedia, Boxing Day is a holiday celebrated the day after Christmas Day. It originated in the United Kingdom and is celebrated in a number of countries that previously formed part of the British Empire. Yeah, something to do with England. <laughs> yeah, and I thought, Nicole said it's like the day after Christmas that the servants get their day off and they get their present. And I was thinking, Vinny, being in a Commonwealth country, and of course, 30% of the, the Queen said that uh, over one third of the globe is Commonwealth in the world. Vinny, because of all the housework that you do and keeping the place you can spend, I wonder if you got your Boxing Day present. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> my greatest, my greatest big pick snap in my mind. I'll never lose. lose Vinny pushing the mop around the. Uh, <laughs> you, know, you, you know, you know what's really amazing. It's um, when you look at historical maps of the globe. 
And you have a look at it by century and um, like the Romans, for, ex for example, they ruled a major part of the world when the Romans were, were king shit, you know? Yeah. But when you have a look at what the British Empire ruled, my God, they ruled a lot of the world. Yes, they did. Hey, Deb. Hey, how are you doing? Hi, Debbie. Hi, Hi. When the Queen said that 3.3 billion people are in the Commonwealth, I was like, holy crap. What the? Yeah. I was like, are you kidding me? Or will this branch offices in the UK? I mean, <laughs> what the hell, you know? Uh, well, Elvis was trying to tell me the other day that Australia was full of uh, Assyrians, but there's only 26,000 out of 26 million, so that's 1%. No, I don't think he said he was Holy shit. No wonder he had a C. No wonder he had a 2.0 average and he was bragging about it. <laughs> and, 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 and shit. Holy hell, man. That's like one one thousand to one fucking percent of uh, Australia's population. I, I'm going to tell you what. I never even knew of what the fuck a Syria was. It's something I read maybe in two sentences in the text from the uh, first year of college. I have no fucking idea what a Syria was. Hey, Schmiggy. Anybody else know what the hell a Syria I, I knew what. I know what. Uh, Mesopotamia and uh, the cradle of civilization, or whatever, and all that. I don't know. Vinny, the you have me thinking, Rosie, the country, Syria. Yeah, but the first time I discovered Assyria was when I played Age of Empires. Yeah, there you go. That, that was it. <laughs> I, I just figured, you know, the wing figures and uh, that kind of crap, and people, people that don't. Uh, you know, I don't know. I'm not going to say that. I don't want to get in trouble tonight. <laughs> Vinny, what do you think it's depicted as? Like an ancient uh, civilization? Yeah. That's, okay. EBS. EBS. I'll take care of this. Don't worry about it. Listen, side chat. Everybody take it easy. Yeah, man. Were you responsible for anything to do with that dude getting, uh, you know, flagged and stuff like that? The kid that was in the wheelchair. Well, not a kid, a guy. Yeah. He went over there and gave him a hard time, and that's where I ended it. I had nothing All right. All right. No, what I'm saying is, did you apologize for all that? Yes, I did. I apologized extra. Right. Any okay. No, no, no. That's, that's all I want to say. You know, yep, let's, let's just be done with that. Yep. It, it, we all know it. Yeah. EBS, it's all right, man. I, I feel your pain, man. I know it's bullshit. But it's Christmas, man. Dude, EBS, just go worry about Dave. I separated myself from Dave. You just go worry about Dave. A lot of people separated themselves from Dave. So you well, just go worry about Dave. Well, EBS, when he's that heated, there's a reason for it, young man. So. Yeah, well, I don't bother with EBS, and I don't do nothing to trigger him. So he's well, just over here trying to rub his nose in some shit, and he ain't going to get me going. And that's all I got to say about that. And Andrew, I didn't. I'm the only moderator on the side. I didn't. I absolutely didn't time you out. But yeah, it's, yeah. Rosie, we're getting a little bit crazy on the side chat with one moderator, and it's me. I don't read that fast. No, no, no. That means somebody copied the wrench. Yeah. Who said I'm throwing Dave under the bus? I just said I separated myself from him. No one's throwing anybody under the bus. Lori had a prior. Uh, uh, so it's okay. Nobody's timing you out, uh, Andrew, because Lori's not timing you. I don't not No. I haven't maybe I might have. I don't know. Maybe he's deleting his own. I, I'm hitting okay as long as I don't hear any bad. Like Ro Rosie, you like, know when you took those wrenches back, you're gonna have that. I'm letting everything go through. Yeah. No. 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 It's probably not your fault. Rosie's gonna have to talk to um Vinny because I think Vinny's the one that did that. Retracted all his wrenches and it took him like six weeks or something like that to figure out where the hell he went. Yeah, somebody the, copied um, the wrench. I um I had an account Rosie that kept coming in and then they they would wrench people out and then they would uh, wipe out the account so I couldn't track the wrench and um, I finally got it but it took me weeks to get it. Yeah, I just cleared off all the branches before I did anything because yeah. um, um, 
Lori was premiering her video tonight. I gave her a wrench to post the link. Yeah. I'm going to ask her to continue to post that link because she did a wonderful uh, bid. Vinny, your name, maybe you haven't seen it. She did a great Voight uh, video tonight. So, who's Lori. that, Lori? Yeah, Vinny's in it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Where was that post tonight? Wait, I'll put the. I see Lori Green Voight movie premiere. Is that it? Yeah, that's the one. Yep. Okay, I see it now. I'll have to watch it. Thank you. Thank you. I've been waiting. Also posting the link. Yeah, Debbie, you're in there. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I'm excited. I can't hey, wait. Hey, Laurie? Hear. Yeah, I'll put it in the side I, chat. I heard you talking about your mixer valve before. What's it doing? Um, I have three things coming off my sink. Oh, one oh, is oh, a oh. hot water dispenser. One is a... Um, like a regular spigot, and then I have a a spigot for filtered water, and then all of a sudden my filtered water is getting hot water. Oh, mm. okay, yeah. Mm. Mixer valve. Yeah, you'll need a new mixer valve. It's not too hard, but just get a plumber to do it because I'm doing that. I was just yeah. I was looking at it um, on the computer. It's way beyond my. Your scope. <laughs> oh, yeah. Way beyond. <laughs> Just like all this uh, recording gear I've got. <laughs> yeah. well, that's what I thought when I heard that she has three. And, you know, they're not going to run three feeds. They're going to use a mixer valve mm. to, uh, to do that. So she's going to bring a guy. I'm, in. Yeah, I've always had the three. Plus, we have the garbage disposal on there. So there's a lot of stuff on the bottom. But all of that, none of that stuff is new. It's I've always had all three, and the only thing I did differently was install new. Okay. So I don't know what – I'm just calling in a plumber and saying, help me. Yeah. That's, that's all I'm doing. Yeah, it's <laughs> that's a smart thing. thing. <laughs> I just left before to show my husband because he, you know, sometimes I'll say something that's broken and he'll be like, you're nuts. It's fine. I don't see you being timed at all. I, would see I don't see anything happening. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Somebody's timing Honda up. Somebody copied the wrench. I'm, I'm not timing. I would never time out. No, Honda. no, no, not you, hon. Somebody copied somebody copy the wrench. That's what they're doing. Now. There's no, there's no somebody, wrench. I think, deleted the... Uh, John's comment and also um, retracted the statement to block him. Uh, Laurie, can you drop that link, please, and I'll mute yeah. myself and go and watch your video. Yeah, you can time down for typing too much, but I haven't seen, I've been watching uh, Andrew's thing. I haven't seen anything that is uh, timed out for sometimes if you type too much. Oh, it's, it's a troll, <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, Laurie. Uh, Boy, I had to go to your channel and um, go to the video. Yeah, I'm gonna drop the link and just copy. My block bird list is getting. You know, I don't know. It could be your blocked. Uh, my block bird list. I'm not sure. I have no open wrenches. Lori and Greg and Missy Jen are the only ones. Who, uh, Lori, just so she can post it. Make sure I spoke to everyone. Oh, how are you doing, Benny? I'm good, thank you. And yourself? I'm doing just fine, thank you. Merry Christmas. Um, Thank you. Merry Christmas to you. How are you, Tara? Good, Debbie. Good, Benny. Merry Christmas, Benny and Debbie. Uh, Benny. I mean, um, CJ, you okay? CJ. Hold on, hon. No, that's okay. Honda right there. That's Honda. Yeah, that's Honda, yeah. Okay, now what you asked me, Deb? I'm sorry. Okay, I said, how you do? There you go. So that, how you doing, TJ? Oh, I'm doing good. Good. Okay, I'm gonna mute myself and have a quick look. Okay. TJ's okay. weeping. Are you crazy? Yeah. Oh my God, how you doing, yeah, man? I'm doing good. Good to see good. you. Hope you had a good. wonderful holiday so far. Good. Thank you. I have. I appreciate that. Oh yeah. Everybody. Hopefully, everybody had a wonderful holiday. Yeah. I did. Oh, yeah. A lot I got of toys galore in my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my grandbaby's got a lot of stuff. I even made sure I ordered my hedge truck from the East Coast. <laughs> nice to see you, 
I've seen like I feel like I haven't seen you in so long. It's nice to be on a panel with you. I miss you, Rosie. I miss you more. Oh, I don't know about that. How's your mom? <laughs> yes. Yeah. How's your mom? Um, she's about the same, but I found a sitter, so I'll get to go home three nights a week. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so that'll be so good. But I was telling Jen to have somebody to so, I don't know, so committed, and so it's so nice to see uh, the level of caring and stuff that you uh Ring, it's just it's awesome. It's, yeah, uh, it just I wouldn't have it any other way. Holiday. I know it's impacted your holiday. What a what a what a special person you are. Yeah, I would never leave her ever, ever, ever. You only get you know. I lost my dad, and I'm not about to. Uh, I'm gonna be with my mom as much as I can. Yeah. Are you home now, Hunter? Or no. No, I'm gonna go. I'm. I'm gonna go. I'll be home tomorrow night, and I'll be home Friday night. Yeah, your husband misses you. You know that. He does. He comes and sees me and eats with me and stuff like that. But yeah, he really does. But he also knows. Um, yeah, to get home. Right. My condo was trolling the shit out of me with that bullshit. You know that I knew that Andrew. <laughs> I'm like, how in the hell could that be? And then Vinny's playing along the road. He's got those hidden wrench. <laughs> Somebody cop <laughs> these fucking guys. <laughs> Always messing with me. I'm Always messing with me. Um, no, I didn't see the happen. That's funny. You see the title of the hangout is, uh, you know, Catfish Cooking Tonight. So, that's all I got to say about that. I'm not putting any, look, unless I, let's say I'm having a date with someone, if I don't at least on YouTube connect with you on Cam, I'm not putting it in gear if I don't see you. I'm not going 135 miles to chase an avatar, okay? So, I can't. You get that right. I mean, hell no. We're taking a rig to get to about 10 miles to the gallon and running hell no. I'm not doing that. Right. But, you know. Then you get down there and complain because she didn't jump in the, you know, she didn't give you a hand job the first meeting, you know, and all this kind of stuff. You did have me gone, Andrew. You did have me gone big time. Yeah, why don't you come up here, Hondo? He always does. He, he always picks on me, Hondo. Always picks on me. Hondo, Hondo. Hey, <laughs> <Stay> now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm giving my attention to Coates. That's my Coates is my attention partner. Oh, and by the way, if my mistress here to, hears the, oh. me saying that, these don't count. Oh, there we go. Oh, you're so funny. Yeah. Your mistress. I, I get punished for saying, "Hey, no." Why? Why? <laughs> Dang, I, I kind of like that. What say? Hey, no. That's pretty right. cool, but. John, go put a. Um, Comment on this video. Tell him I'm looking for him over here tonight. <laughs> 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 oh, no, Vinny's got the got it like a music board and stuff. I don't think he's doing warfare. Yes, I think he's doing a, a musical. Uh, Jesus I want to go listen to that video real quick, guys. I can't wait to see that video. <laughs> yeah, I'll be, Rosie, I'll be right back. I'm going to go listen. I'm going I'm to be listening to it. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> What's up, Rosie? Well, I'm just saying, uh, like I say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a poll in the side chat. If you would go meet somebody blind 135 miles away with nothing but an avatar and a few side chat things, if I'm going that way, that's fine. But uh, you know, vote one if you would meet. Put one down if you would actually meet somebody that way, or vote two if you think you're out of your mind if you're going to put it in five miles to meet somebody. For me, I think you got to be nuts. I'm going to vote two on that. I'm right there with you. That's crazy. I wouldn't two. bother. Well, no, this window liquor wouldn't do that, Rosie. Window liquor. No. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, y'all don't like my hair? What's the matter? Yeah, there we go. There you go. They don't like the hair, Rosie. That's their problem. <laughs> you know, it is what it is, right? Well, well mate, look, like, I'm not saying that. Like, I know you outside of you, you know, off of the YouTube platform. That's fine. I'm here because I have the confidence. So just, just, on a, just on a YouTube stream, I can't do that. I cannot do that. Uh, no, when I I did do a record on there yesterday. I had uh, Andy Williams. Uh, that was awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. I enjoyed watching it. That's showing you the uh, 1960 21 to. Yeah. No, I'm not bailing him out. Don't start that shit. I'm on Gerald tonight. Gerald's a great guy. I like I like coats. Coats 9500 coming on you. <laughs> 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 you got me, Rosie. I'm really coming at you. <laughs> yeah, man. Somebody streaming on the video yeah. on. It's uh. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh it's, Debbie Davis. The good people were terrorized <laughs> by a cartel. Oh, Who's? I gotta mute yeah, it. You gotta mute it. She, she's got it. Rosie's got it. Good evening, Rosie. <laughs> Good evening. So, so yeah, man, you got the week off, yeah, man, or you got to work on I got the week off. I don't go back to the fifth. I got a nice 12-day holiday. It's beautiful. Man, that's awesome. Yeah, man, we can raise some hell. Huh? Oh, hell yeah. We're going to raise some hell. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry about that. Need some hell, baby. Hmm? <laughs> um, EBS, just so you know, I don't lactate and my moves don't hurt. Okay? Dude, no. Don't worry about it, buddy. Well, that's why I said it smells like Andrew, you were so cute in the video. You're like my favorite person. Who was, who's your favorite, Lori? Oh, my God. Andrew Hondo. He played Scotty. Uh, and he was so funny doing it. I didn't even ask him to do it like that. He just did his lines like that, and he was so cute. I'm going to Hollywood, Honda. Huh? I'll be waiting. I'm going to catch that. It's going to be good. Give him a bigger video. Now, Lori Green, you've given him a bigger head than ever. You know? Hey, Tom. <laughs> he was... Oh, he's only he's already trolling the hell out of me on the side here. There's a link for the video if you haven't seen it. Check there it out. It yeah, man. Yeah, it's got a little surprise in there too, so I'm not gonna be uh yeah. I mean just check that out. He worked her patootie off for over five hundred hours, three quarters of a terabyte, uh fifty how many <laughs> 57, um, okay, the stats are 57 Voight people. Wait. Hey, Coke, Merry Christmas to you. 570 hours of work put into it, nine months of time, 57 people, 750 gigabytes of storage. And everybody except the very few were invited on um, but some people I just couldn't find. Like I wanted EBS and I wanted Jack Sparrow, and I I just don't run into them. So I, I tried. Um, but there, then there was of course three people that were not. It's done in good humor, and Andrew Honda was adorable. In fact, a lot of it. Was inspired by Andrew Hondo's. God, that's amazing. Our Hondo has arrived. Huh? Hondo has arrived. That's amazing. Yeah, Hondo's got a good sense of humor. Hey, now. Yeah, he does. Big sense of humor. That's funny. Yeah, the plot twist. Right. Yeah, there's a little bit of a plot twist. Yeah, the production. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. The production values were tremendous. 
Ooh, it's going to be talking about fellatio. Hey, now. Well, good deal, Marshall. Oh, Jesus. Was that was uh, something. That, that was a brilliant movie. Yeah, that wasn't that nice. How about the production values on that? Were pretty damn high, weren't they, Vinny? Oh, yeah, they were great. Oh, Can you hi. see this? Yeah, let me put you on present. Hold on a minute. Elvis just showed up. He said <laughs> riding in her BMW. So hold on a minute. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. So this is a kit made um, by the lady who came out with that Australian hot sauce called Shit the Bed. And oh. they give you... <laughs> Uh, they give you the opportunity to make your own hot sauces. Now, it's got a bottle of black label in there, which is, I think, 16 times hotter than shit the bed. Uh, I, 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 will, I will be doing that one online. Tablespoons. Oh, but, God. Did they, did, they did, did they list the Scoville units of heat for those... Uh... Here we measure heat, like my pepper sprays, two million Scovilles of uh, heat. Do they have a Scoville measure on those? I think that's the barometer they use to measure by. But when you say 16 times, that's some hot shit on that. Can you, can you, see, my, um, can you see my quality camera pretty good, Rosie? Absolutely. Yep. Okay. Well, this is so hot. Read the bottom of the label on the uh, black label bottle. Hang on. Let me Hang on. Let me try and focus it for you. Uh, all right. Uh, may cause anal <laughs> leakage. <laughs> now. I'm just oh saying. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That's, a, that's how we measure um, our heat units. <laughs> Let me tell you, Rosie, whoever came up with the Google thing was brilliant. I'll tell you that. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Scoville thing finally put it on a map, didn't it? Uh, yes, it did. Yeah, because then, it could, then you could actually have a verifiable uh, index to measure and start doing shit. You know, people people trying to outdo each other. And then you had the ghost peppers and the scotch yep. and all that. I love that. So people are now if, trying. If you want to find um, how a country's faring in economy, actually, Rosie, and to everyone else on the panel on the side chat, believe it or not, they have the Big Mac unit of measure of how many Big Macs you can buy for one US dollar in that country. Oh, wow. Seriously. I've seen that because I lived in China and Hong Kong for uh, five years, so people were shocked how cheap they were. But, yeah, there is measures of, uh, you know, the uh, cost of living and stuff based on the Big Mac. Uh, but I just think the Scoville is really I'll try and find out the Scoville value of the black label, but it's pretty, pretty high. I know that, that much for sure. Uh, hey, do you know the Big Mac is considered a dessert? Where? Well, yeah, McDonald's. When you look it up, it's considered a dessert. They claim it's a dessert. Wow. Yes. I, I just learned that recently, honestly, and I did not know that till it was less than a year ago. But yeah, it's considered a dessert. How do you consider that a dessert? I think because of the sauce and all this, you know, the way the sandwich is made. I was going to say maybe the way it's caused diabetes. <laughs> possibly, possibly. <laughs> but I guess it's sweetness from having the uh, secret sauce and all of that. Yeah. I'll, up, I'll, I'll find some information on it. Damn. That's I got one one point two million. Yeah, that's pretty damn high. Like defensive, my pepper spray is two million Scoville units. Mm. So I am. Um, <laughs> it reaches a point, Vinny, where probably above like two hundred fifty thousand, you wouldn't want to get it anywhere near an eye or something like. So it's overkill at that point, you know. Well, if I can, if I can be rude. Um, Okay, first of all, one of my friends, um, okay, so I've got police officers in the family, but I've also got friends who are police officers, and I asked him one day, I said, listen, I was having pizza, homemade pizza, I said, could you spray some of that shit on the pizza, you know, and he said he couldn't because the minute they discharge a pepper spray canister here in Australia, it's as good as discharging a firearm, they have to fill in all paperwork and all sort of crap, right? But he said it's pretty damn hot. 
But um, one day I was cutting some um, scorpion tail chili peppers on, um, on the kitchen bench. And I just, males being males, you know, I forgot about it completely. First thing I did was pick my nose, then I scratched my balls. Oh, <laughs> I was going to ask if you found them your sack. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually bad did. News, baby, bad news. <laughs> Benny, you must have been miserable. <laughs> it was hot. It was hot. I'll just say that. Hmm. Oh, God damn. I'd love to do a heat challenge with Benny. That would be fucking awesome. You know? yeah, don't touch your eye. Do not touch your eyes. Oh, no. my. Hmm. Well, there was a, a, a friggin' um, fundraising for children, not last Christmas, but the Christmas before, and I had a bowl of Raymond noodles. And the shit the bed hot sauce, I took one tablespoon of it and I threw up online, right? And um, I threw up on my arms and it was burning my arms. That's how bad it was. Wow. So you've what something stronger. Yes, I've got something really strong. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to do this again. Mm, yeah. Lori, it's, it's definitely an Australian male thing. Something it's got to be. I'm so glad it's, I'm a woman. It's so mm. I definitely see Aussie Shooter doing that with Vinny. They'd be like fucking hilarious, too. And they'd be like, hey, we're hey, oh, hey, look at us. Hey. You know? Hey, cool. Well. I got given the box on Christmas Day and my wife walked away saying, go on, snort that, I dare you. <laughs> I said, no, not the black label. Mm -mm. Oh, hell no. I don't, I don't want Benny to be, uh, you know, the tissue, man, that heat on that, when you up in your nose tissue, some of the most sensitive uh, tissue no. on the body. My goodness. I don't, care, all... I don't care about Elvis. Where in the hell is my Gerald tonight, huh? Somebody send my Gerald over here. Oh, she's looking for coats. Ninety five hundred. I'm on you. Where are you? Yeah, they want to put this on a disc together. I think that would be really wild. Is that El is Elvis in here, is he? He's popping. Hey coat, Merry Christmas to you. Uh coat, where in the hell is uh where in the hell's coats? Huh? Merry Christmas, King of All Things. I ain't saying Merry Christmas to Elvis. He can go fuck himself. I'll have a blue Christmas without you. <laughs> well, what yeah. is it, sir? He better not say he's got girth anymore because we've seen the photos and I'm laughing my ass off. <laughs> I, got the, I got the full package, baby. I got the olive-toned skin. I got the bald patch. I got the small girth. <laughs> He's hung like a fucking six year old, for Christ's sake. My Gerald. Uh, I mean, somebody said, We'll set you up on a date with Gerald. I'm like, Oh, I'll do that. You know, get Gerald dressed up a little bit and go out on a non pizza date. That could be a lot of non subway. No subway, no pizza. Okay. I mean, that would be it. What do you think, Jessica Jennifer? Uh, Street Life said, Yeah, he'd be willing to kick in for that. <laughs> I, I'm watching. I'm watching the side chat, and I'm laughing my head off. <laughs> I'm like a hamster. No shit. <laughs> yeah, Rosie, I'm gonna go take my dog out for a minute. So just watch the side chat. I keep having to push the button to let the curses through. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. Uh, but. Uh, yeah, the side yeah, uncut girth. Yeah, he's been circumcised and he's the hung side like a half a million Scoville units. Tonight. Hung like a hamster. Hey, Rosie, you know how like the computer speaker cable that comes out of your computer, the size that it is, right? Right. Now with this studio set up, have a look at the cable size I got coming out for my speakers. <laughs> Like R C, they're R C A jacks. Uh, yeah, they're quarter inch to R C A. Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. God, how many of those things have I soldered on in my day? But Lord, I can't wait to hear your thing. Uh, you got a learning curve, though, Benny. You know. Uh, I think I made a mistake. <laughs> no, 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 you're breaking new ground on live stream stuff. Yeah. That's what I like. I like the fact that uh, 
doing new stuff, like I'm trying to do more field streams and get the quality up. So you're working on the, the streams there. I really like that. So I really want I really want the DJ Osmo camera stabilizer though. Well, wait till I get my uh, Sony FRX 2000. It runs right in the uh, bonded cells thing, and you'll you'll see something. You'll see something pretty damn good, but you're talking about pretty high running costs every month. So I've got to be out on the road full time to sustain that uh, type of operation. Oh, oh that's what I saw. Says, Hello, Rosie. You know the 360 camera, Rosie? Yep. $89 here in Australia for a really good quality one. Is that the uh, – which one is that? There are several different 360s that they uh, – I'll well, look for it now. Okay, see if you can find it. They're they're generally like 160, 170 over here. So I, th I thought it'd be great to have. Yeah, um, I just you know for people that are into uh, you know directing and being able to move around the uh, the point of vision and stuff. That's great. No, Mike Loyal, I think it'd be good content. You know, I think it'd be a lot of fun to go on a date with Gerald live stream. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Subway with Gerald, right? Uh, uh, sorry, 189. That's cheap. That's pretty cheap. Yeah, it's a fly, 360 fly. Yeah, what do you think, uh, Chach? I, I just wear this and show up. Gerald, I'm ready for the date now. You know, where are we going tonight? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, Cheryl, Merry Christmas to you. That's good, Vinny. That's not a bad price at all uh, for that. Who's Gerald? Coates, 9,500. Oh, Elvis Come is a little slight boy. Yes. Oh! That's <laughs> <laughs> his buddy, Vinny. Hey, slave boy. This is his buddy. Yeah. Good friend. Long life friend forever. Yeah. yeah. He wants me to get a bike. I just, uh, it's too dangerous to bike around here. I'm sorry. It's, uh, Flat, flat ground of California, of uh, Florida would be okay if you have a lot more trails here. It's too urban area. Just uh, you're asking for trouble on a bike because people don't give a fuck. They'll just run over. You. A bicycle? Yep. Yeah. Dangerous. Yeah. It's dangerous as hell out of here to do that. Yeah. It's dangerous all over the place with biking around here too. Yeah. And I just, I don't want to be out doing that. It's one thing to be in Florida. You only have to worry about the odd blue hair that might run you into a canal or something. <laughs> or, well, there's, there's a catch-22. They don't want you on the sidewalk, but they want you in the street. But on the street, you get run over. And I've seen yeah. a lot of people, like we were down in uh, San Diego, and they had the uh, uh, concrete on the, like the boardwalk area, concrete. And if you have thin wall thin racing tires and you hit that some woman just we saw some woman just go right over the top of the bars right there and I'm like, shit you gotta have like balloon tires for safety i um, dare you to get a unicycle yeah <laughs> yeah that would be great i had one as a kid they're so much fun um, i teach you a good balance but uh damn <laughs> I bought a whole bunch of these. I know you know what that is. Our, yeah, the banana plums. Yep. They're awesome. Yep. The I was snaking wise for the longest time, trying to get them in the back of my receiver till I bought these. Yeah, you got the hot. That's good, Mike Loyal. I'd like to see, you know, Crystal's got skills. I think she'd look really hot as uh, with the blue. I'm talking about like the blue rinse that they have. Because every day you read in the paper in Florida, this person ran into the canal, and this one ran into the canal, or this one thought they were in reverse when they are in forward, ran into the restaurant, and all that kind of shit. That happens in Florida all the time. All the time. That shit happens over there. Well, Rosie, thank you for having me on. I will get back on with you guys later this week. All right. You enjoy your time off, yeah, man, okay? Oh, I will. I got to get up early in the morning and handle stuff, so. Okay, good. I'll be everybody back. Everybody in the side chat, have a good night, everybody on panel. Love good everybody. Night. Good night. Good night, yeah, man. Yeah, thanks for coming on. Oh, anything. I appreciate that link, Rosie. I was just sitting here, and as fast as you said it, my phone was ringing. I love you for it. Thank you so much.
love you too. You take care. Hey, Debbie Davis is so quiet. You can tell she's out of the, she's out of practice on this. Get uh, in here, Debbie. Get in here. Yeah. I'm out of that video. I'm going to uh, cat nap and watch it. <laughs> it was really, uh, boy, it was so good. I had to. I love I, you all. I love you. Bye. I enjoyed hey. that video. It was really hey, nice. Debbie. Oh, yes. Let me let me say goodbye to everybody. I got okay. a, it's time for my bed. So good night, CJ, Lori, Rosie, and you, Debbie, and Minnie. Good night, Tara. Good night, Tara. Here, Tara. Nice to see you. Love you, Tara. Love you, too. Merry Christmas once again. Hey, now. Hey, Rosie, can I just do a quick promo for Elvis? Of course. Okay. Now, I, I'm only doing this for him as a favor, all right? So he can't tell me I'm an arsehole all the time, right? Now, he's not even going to have to beg for this. If he goes to the website, he'll get it for nothing. There's this product called Kaboki, and it hides bald patches, right? But, um, <laughs> right? It, it comes oh in like it, it, it's a fibre, right? It's a fibre, and you just spray it on top of your head. Yeah, you, right? me. <laughs> you get You get instructions, and they will send you any colour you want for free. All right, so Elvis, if you're watching, Kaboki, it'll cover your bald patch up. What are we going to do, a GoFundMe for that, Benny? For, uh, no, no, they'll, they'll send it out for nothing, seriously. Yeah, Sean said use the black uh, spray. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh. All right, guys. Well, I'm, I'm going to go grab one last beer, and then I think Vinny is probably going to fire up a hangout in a bit uh, in here. Yeah. And I'm about to well. I was up so late last night into the wee hours with that uh, hangout. So let me go grab a beer. I'll be right back, and we'll, uh, we'll no worries. Wrap and move on. I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, because they don't give you much, uh, Cheryl. They really don't give you much. Like, th that's half full, this thing, right? But it, I, I did it as a joke, and um, I think the sample is worth like 40, 50 bucks, but they'll actually give it to you for nothing. And worst case scenario, once he's finished using it, he's got a great salt and pepper shaker for the camper bed, you know? Uh, you know, kill two birds with one stone. Jesus Christ, Vinny. You're out of technical warfare with Jeremy Hopper? <laughs> EBS. It's not a spray, EBS. It's like a pepper. Um, what? You crack me up. You had a, a technical warfare with Jeremy Hopper. That's new to me. I don't know. Whatever. I tell you what, Vinny. We have a good friend that lives down in uh, Mandora near Perth. Over there, Mandora is like a suburb of uh, Perth. Over yeah. There. A beautiful place. It's like mm -hmm. a semi-tropical place. He always sends us. He sent us a box of beautiful, like Aboriginal art, original Aboriginal artwork, and just wonderful stuff uh, from uh, from down there. Really, really makes me wanna. I told Jen we should really take a we should really take a trip down uh, down under down there. That would really be wild. It's, you know, it's, uh, Sydney, yeah. Melbourne, Adelaide, come right from Perth, right on across, uh, right on over to the uh, to the East Coast there. So, you know, we're mm. thinking about it. Yeah. That is, you know, Air New Zealand, it's like a $1,000 $1, round trip, which isn't bad out of here. That's not bad. 25 hours, you, you go from San Francisco to uh, Auckland and then Auckland to Perth. So 25 hours and five hours for the uh, flight. Hey, king of all things, go fuck yourself, chooch. At least I stand on fucking camera. You don't, you puss, pussy little bastard. <laughs> okay? So man up in can up or shut your fucking trap. <laughs> Uh, there we go. By the way, I know who you are, you little fucker. So shut up. And a happy new year. We're so glad to fuck you in a new year. Fucking douchebag. <laughs> Cracks me up all lips and no fucking balls. <laughs> all 
Oh, you guys, <laughs> you guys, you guys are too much. Mm. It's like the Maginot line every fucking day. It's, you don't know where it's at. Debbie, see, Debbie, you're laughing again, right? Perfect. Down here, the boys will be boys, won't they? Huh? Yes, they will. <laughs> You guys put a smile on. You put a smile on her. Uh, put a smile on her face. Yeah, that hadn't been in a long time. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, Benny. This uh, this technology they over here they call it. Uh, uh, you can call it new stream technology. What it actually does is it bonds up to four cellular carriers like AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, and Sprint. That's Mr. X. It takes all four of those signals and bonds them together into one signal. And actually do like grenades. Hey, Mr. X, I know who you are. So shut the <laughs> fuck up before welcome wagon rolls in. <laughs> that must is that costing you extra, Rosie? You would you pay a thousand dollars to the uh, That's no wig you douchebag. You have to pay your modem fees, but the, the net result of that, Vinny, is you can actually stream ten eighty P from the field and run that not through yourself, not through your camera on your cell phone, but you can you can mount up an HDMI external cam full stabilization like a Sony FRX two thousand or something like that. And you just have zoom capable you have everything that's just crystal clear technology. Uh, cool that bonded signals and I know I know you know what I mean by bonded. You can pull together yep. like, Carriers on and synthesize them into one carry mode, yeah. and the results are, are phenomenal. Now the expense is, is high, but you're bringing really super good quality uh, uh, product. Yeah, which I really like. Hey, Carl. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. X. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you go suck on a pickle, you fucking shoot? Yeah. Yeah, Mary oh. Christmas, Carl. Oh my God. Hi, Carl. <laughs> God, that ugly. Yeah. I, I can't even look at that. Yeah, Mike Moore, why is everybody so cranky? <laughs> oh no. That's only you two. These guys stick at the fucking war. <laughs> I mean, I'm late. Okay. Like, really? Why not? Hey, hey, I got an idea. King of all things, since you're real lippy, come up on the oh. panel and show your face, douchebag. Come on, I tell you. I'll go on panel. I've shown my face a lot of times. He's so either cam up or he's shut cam up. He's cammed up, though. King of all things is cammed up. Well, come up on panel and cam up. Chooch. Yeah, he's, he's been on the <laughs> <laughs> Whiskey, I could tell you some things about that guy. <laughs> I know. Start wearing a hockey helmet when you start sucking dick because I think you're getting brain damage. That's it, Tammy. I'm still running Windows XP because it's a slim operating system, and I love it. I ain't giving up my Windows XP. Sorry. I wish when I had that. I hate Windows 10. So XP I'm ready to, and I have it. Hey, there's Gerald. Gerald, Gerald, you have a lot to say to me. Don't you dare leave here. We're talking about a date coming up. Hmm? <laughs> Coates is in the house. Coates, 9,500. There he is. There he is. I knew he couldn't resist stopping by tonight. Gerald, I got, this, I got the silver on tonight. Hmm? <laughs> uh, he just came by a little bit of a tease there tonight. <laughs> Coming all over his place. There we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, Vinny, it's going to be like uh, it's Merry Christmas, Vegas Fix. It's going to be like the same investment that you've made in like your equipment and stuff like that. But there's yeah, a certain, there's a certain monthly cost to be incurred. But your streams are so they're like. Uh, 
you know, they're like uh, fine video quality production. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Oh, if you go 1080p live stream, do you know how good that'll be? I mean, I've seen it. I've absolutely seen a guy climb to the peak of a hill on a wall on the Hawaiian island. Remote. Yeah, that and it looked like 1080 uh, video quality, 1080 60p video quality it was absolutely phenomenal. And uh, to do everyday streams like that, it's worth it. I mean, it, and, and the bond, the bonding of the frequencies on the single carrier that'll give you more strength too, won't it? More signal absolutely. strength. Absolutely, you got more reach, more strength. And it's only picking out the very best. And uh, you know, in other words, it'll pick what it needs. <laughs> And it'll also add or drop frame rates to sustain that quality, Benny. So it's a seamless switch if you drop from 60 to, say, 40 frames per second, or you're still going to have a good quality. It doesn't buffer. You know what I mean? It's automatically the computer's running all this, uh, putting these. It's very amazing. I think people would help to support that in the field, too, Benny. On oh, yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. That's why I want to take that traveling because I I think people would support the quality, yeah, like that. So, Vinny, can I ask Yo. you for a favor? What? You gonna stream after this, or uh, hang out? Yeah, I probably will. Uh, I think my wife's going to get fish and chips for dinner, so I'll probably have dinner first. And all right, good. And then you do me a favor. You send an invite to that fucking douchebag king of all things. I'll be waiting for your chicken ass. I'll be on about 15 more minutes and then I'm going to. I'm just going to. that you got there, fucking hell. Close it out. Once again, make sure to check out Lori. Uh, did the video on the void is still my last video, and she'll also drop a link if she comes back. Here yeah, yeah. There's a link on there. So make sure you check that. Give her some support. Give a nice comment and share the video on your Yeah, the video is getting. Beautiful comments. I really, I overwhelmingly thank you. Yes, I reckon it's great. Now I know what that voiceover was for. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It really was. Really, we had a good time doing it. Yep. And it was like it was nice involving everybody in in my personal life, um, and, and having you be there. Like <laughs> twenty years from now, we will watch that, and I'll be like, "Oh, that's so and so. I remember them." And hopefully. <laughs> They're still around. Um, it was just well, really like to immortalize you guys who mean well, so much you to me to my with my family. We had no clue. I mean, you did keep it a secret. We had no clue what was going to be going on. We just knew it was li doing lines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. But anyway, I'm going to hoot myself. Merry Christmas once again to everyone on the panel and Merry to Christmas everyone. To you in the side chat, and I will catch you soon. Bye, Benny. See you soon there, King of All Things. Peace. CJ's ready to roll. Oh, I, boy, that's ringing the fucking New Year, baby. Oh. Bye, everybody. <laughs> I gotta love CJ. Oh, I love CJ. <laughs> All right, guys, well, I'm going to pack it in. I might be on a couple other streams tonight, but we accomplished what I wanted to uh, put Lori Green front and center for her hundreds of hours. Thank you, Rosie. You are most welcome. And once again, it was fun to hang out with you in uh, Las Vegas. Best of Howard. And happy. Yes. Yeah. You, I hope you get your uh, water situation straightened out there. And Debbie Davis, how fun to be with you tonight. And. Uh, uh -huh. I'm so glad to be back. I'm going to get that jaw lubricated a little bit. So you're, you know, I want to get you talking more and more. You get back in the spirit of hanging out and stuff. So. Okay, that would be great. Guys, so Bye. thanks so much for being along. Good night, everybody. And I'll Good night, everyone. Bye. 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 Okay.